Hello. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you. How's it going? <laughs> uh, welcome, everyone, to the stream. Big welcome to Nighty Furion. Um, thank you so much for the sub. Um, and Gaming Kitty, again, sorry that uh, you missed the announcement. I, I do try to let you know, uh, when we do tabletop RPGs like this, we do Pathfinder or Soulbound or whatever, we do start an hour later. Uh, and that's just so we get um, uh, everyone's schedule matched up a little better. It's it's a little harder to to get everyone's schedule matched up for uh, for things like these. So we do start at seven usually, uh, but the um, the schedule is right. We do normally play games at six. Um, so you aren't completely wrong. Snow Foxu changed your name again. Thank you for the stretch and the hydrate. How we doing, everybody? I hope you're all fantastic. We are here to play some Pathfinder 2E, continuing the Extinction Curse. We'll get a, uh, a synopsis of what happened last time with the guys. Um, but uh, before that, just want to let you guys know, I'm no longer a mystic. I, oh, that's fair. That's true. What happened to that? I don't know. Um, moving forward, we are off tomorrow, but we'll be back on stream Friday with Tank Girl 90 playing... Um, Hearts of Iron 4, Old World's Blues, Old World Blues mod. That's hard to say. And then Saturday, we'll be back on um, Final Fantasy 15. And uh, no, I haven't done any grinding before you ask. <laughs> uh, finally made the decision. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations, I guess. I, I will always consider you mystic because that's just how I... I, I mean, you're just mystical. That's just what it is. Uh, anyways... Let's get down to it. I need to play some music. We're gonna we're gonna pull that up real fast, and then we'll go meet with the crew here. Let's open the thing. We're just gonna put it on like meditation. That sounds good. Just something chill in the back. I hope it's playing. I don't know if it's playing. It is playing. We're good. Um. Oh, it's right there. Oh. Perfect. All right. Uh. All right, let's go. Let's go see the guys. See how things are going. I gotta mess with the camera when we there. When we're there, so uh, be ready for that. <laughs> um, twelve hours. Twelve hours. <laughs> I mean, at least you can stop in Amsterdam on the way, right? Right. Um, do what they do in here. Amsterdam. <laughs> how we doing, guys? I gotta. I gotta mess with my camera. So um, in introduce yourselves or something. <laughs> sure. Yeah, welcome everybody. Uh, today we'll be continuing the Extinction Cur Curse uh, Adventure Path uh, for Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Um, we've got our little circus troop here, and I'll uh, let them all introduce themselves in a second here. But uh, we'll start with me. Uh, I am our Game Master for today. Uh, my name's Tim, or Nighty Furion, as you probably see me in the chat. And uh, very exciting to be GMing today. Uh, do we want to move to Cookie? Well, I'm Andrew Cook, or Cookie, and I'm actually the brother of our GM, and I'm playing Word the Strong Man. <laughs> <laughs> the big green boy down here. Big yep. green boy. Um, I guess in line, I'm next then. Um, welcome everyone, I'm Jabberwalk33. <laughs> Um, I am playing the part of Yilandar, who is our Elven Barker. Uh, I'm the guy that yells at people to come see the circus. Uh, he's creepy and cool, and uh, wears a mask. It'll be fun. Creepy cool is the best. Because, <laughs> you know, there, there's nothing wrong that could ever go with that, right? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, I'll go next. Yep. So I am Nopey Winston, and I am playing uh, the... <laughs> oh, goodness, I forgot all of her adjectives. Oh, uh, no. Madam Wondergog, uh, or Gog. And uh, she is a goblin who runs the sideshow, uh, or the sideshow exhibit. Uh, it's Madam Wondergog's Emporium of Splendid Doodads. Uh, so... Yeah, she's just a sweet, a sweet old little gal. I sold for a goblin um, who collects shiny things and shiny stories. 
perfect. Um, yeah, I guess that leaves uh, me. Uh, I am Shradero. I play the uh, Tengu monk named Croc, and he gets to. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, he's an aerialist, and I think he's also the only person in the group that knows how to remotely heal. So, the only character on. trained in medicine. <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's job security right there. <laughs> Especially in this circus. Yeah. In fact, the only one above a zero in medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay, yeah. Um, so we'll be continuing our adventure today. Um, last time we had a almost very successful uh, circus production. Our first this one. Boy. Our, our, our players only missed raising the crowd excitement by one point, but overall it ended in a in a uh, in a crackling failure, I guess you could say. Um, as a horrible <laughs> circus accident happened and broke the legs of all the other ar aerialists. The crackling um, was the bone snapping. <laughs> oh, beans. <laughs> um, but more importantly, the ringmaster of the circus, Myron Thunder Stendhal, was murdered right before the performance. And our players will now have to investigate what happened to Myron and who killed him? He was being clearly happen? murdered. <laughs> and not quickly or painlessly. And not quickly or painlessly. Yeah, he was twisted into like a knot, right? Yeah. Oh, Bummer. Someone goosed me. <laughs> oh. You can be goosed? Yeah, there's a honk sound. A goose honk. Oh, maybe Thank I you, game kid. Honk. It's a quick little thing. It's a honk. <laughs> uh, yes, up, Ash. How's it going, Ash? Ash and Gaming Kitty, you guys rock. And I owe shoutouts. All the shoutouts. Okay. Uh, just let me know when you all can see the um the uh, circus camp. I can. I like that Mr. Thunder has a skull on him, too. Yeah, he is. Well, he was supposed to have zero hit points. Don't really know what happened there. He's got a skull, so I'm going to assume he has zero. He lives. No zero hit points. He <laughs> of course, Ash, no problem. We all grow together. I love, so when you double click him, gonna lurk? Comes yeah, up take with, it like, easy. A statue a little bit and just Vibe says dead with us. in brackets. <laughs> <laughs> Turn my camera. OK. Um, so after the performance, you all, um, double shot, you, you all sort of cleaned up the mess, I guess you could say, um, yeah, the blood your fellow, <laughs> helped your other performers recover. Um, the bones. and after the failed show and the, uh, and the murder uh. of their beloved ringmaster, <laughs> most of the, uh, most of the, fo the circus folk have, uh, gone and they're they're sort of just spending some together time at the uh at the fire that um that the professor set up on the edge of the pond um where the camp is currently set up uh it was set up here because the uh circus likes to have a set of like fresh water to be able to like clean their clothes and, thanks though no. <laughs> you know, safe drinking source and be able to bathe all the yes. all the good relax stuff. let our sultry voices but, soothe the animals. you um, as the, uh, yeah, and all the um, as the, uh, four members of the circus who were probably like the least shaken and best able to, uh, maintain your composure, the professor took you aside after the show and, uh, has asked you all to investigate the death of the beloved ringmaster, Myron. Wait, real fast, real fast. I, I, I know, know I'm interrupting, but look south, mm -hmm. like just, no, he's disappearing. <gasps> Uh, you have to check out my stream later, but there was a mouse, like an actual animated mouse walking around my screen. It was so cool. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, All these I was... mice are super weird. Um... Uh, it's I don't have any mice. That's probably for the best. 
I mean, they're not there anymore. It, it kind of started walking. And it got us. <gasps> no, look. All right. So, sal uh, like, go, like, go to go to Madam Wonder Gog and go like down from her. Like, just just I'm one not, block I'm, from her portrait. I'm not sure you'll all see the same mice. Oh, is I it do like? Not have a mouth. Oh, all right. Well, you have to look at the stream because it's going it, it's going wrong. right for you, Wonder Gog. It's it's is it's it on top I'm of Wonder Gog. It is on your face. It is is there's just a mouse on your face right now. It's it's crawling away. Is it because I'm very small? Uh, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna mention it. All right, I, I guess it's uh, I guess it's like uh, it, it's different for each of us. But all right, I'm sorry, I'm I sorry to interrupt. That was just, yeah, was so, just so very, you all yeah. have been uh spotting mice around the camp like far more than normal, <laughs> and it's incredibly suspicious. Oh, good to know. Thank you yeah, for the that hug. Was what our first encounter was was the rats like dog rats right. yeah these are much smaller these rats and they also do the high wire yes yeah so it is unusual to see even normal sized mice at this often in our camp i mean it's not like super rare to run into you know rats in a traveling circus but <laughs> it, it, it it is somewhat noticeable okay um but yeah, I'll, I'll let you all sort of, you know, you've oh, got this so whole many. camp available to you. Um, you can investigate wherever you want to go in the camp. Um, I've tried to make sure that there's labels for each of the different wagons. If you if there's anything you want to check out, you can investigate the body first if you want to. Yeah, we should um, probably do that. Anything you want. Anyone good with knots? <laughs> like, like untying them? There are um, so many mice. Like I've I've got like three on my screen now. Holy I think cow! I'm just too small to see them. I think um, you're getting a higher percentage of the mice. I think I'm getting your guys' mice. Like, geez. Um, I adorable. don't good medicine, and I don't know what you consider or not. So wait, what do you what do you mean by like, what do you mean by not? Sorry. What's up, Ash? He's asking us to think if we should untie the body. Yeah. I think it might also just be a joke. I, I was mostly just joking, because the body is contorted. I have no other knot. good plan, though. <laughs> Unless uh, we're like, hey, Croc, can we, can we you just, know medicine. Can we just investigate the body? Like, is that... Uh, what, are, what are the abilities that we have? I, not used to Pathfinder yet. Um, um, so as you as you move closer to the body, you can you can, it reveals that the uh, a closer evaluation of the body reveals that his legs are so swollen that his pant legs can't be rolled up. Hmm. His legs are swollen. That is kind of gross. That's suspicious. Um. Can I use a cantrip detect magic to see if there's anything? Magical still present. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, okay. You don't uh, need to cast it. I can just tell uh, you that. Uh, I just did. <laughs> I mean, if you want to place the thirty foot emanation, you can because it has a cool. Animation. Oh, how do I do that? Do I just click on it and <gasps> click on place oh. thirty foot? Whoop. Nice. Oh, that's intense. <laughs> All right, that was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm detecting magical influence. Don't know what that did, but it was awesome. Um, you, don't, you don't detect any magic in the vicinity of the body. All right, there is no magic in the vicinity of the body. Um, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. You do detect magic from um, from uh, Gog. G Gog has some magical stuff oh, on. I, I do detect magic from Gog, but that's not helpful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but did. that also means there's nothing like illusiony going on with this guy. He is contorted the way he is, literally. Physically, yeah. Yeah. Um, I that don't think there's. A... Yeah. Wrong dude. Hey, Cookie, are you okay? Point... Oh, he's eating. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> not trying to point any elbows here, but. Uh... It takes a pretty strong dude to tie someone in a knot. Get a good nap, Gaming Kitty. But we'll be here. Did spend uh, okay, a whole he's, lot of time. He's not actually tied to knot. <laughs> okay. He's just in a very <laughs> contorted like. <laughs> like me. He's, he's just I was missing for a good amount of time. I had a good reason though. <laughs> I know, I know. I was making a joke. 
in poor taste. No. <laughs> um, but he is he is like, you know, contorted, looks like he had a very painful death. Yeah. Um, is there any other like I guess there's not really an investigation thing. Um What about like you could, you could I'm, I'm, a... Nope, was it? Do you want to roll a perception check or something like that? I, I guess perception. I don't know. I'm trying to notice anything like <laughs> more out of the ordinary, but more less obvious, I guess. So I guess a perception check. Um, I was even looking at maybe occultism to see if there was anything. Oh, I'm good at occultism. I was gonna, yeah, I was going to. Oh, okay. I, I was I actually did. waiting. I was thinking Cro Cro uh, Croc could like medicine check. Yeah. and. Yeah, what's Croc up to? Um, yeah, so I want to look to see if, you know, or tr see if I can recall, like, if there's any you know, meaning to how he is you know, contorted. Uh, so I, I don't, do I don't want to take a medicine check then. Like, like in a medical way, are you thinking of that? Or are you thinking, I was thinking like, religion or like occultism? I don't like know. Like ritualistically. Religion yeah. can or, I... um... Yeah, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, can I give him an aid? Uh, so I yeah, have an yeah, action yeah. called Recall the Teachings. Um, so oh, the height... got a special... Yeah. Thing. Oh, let me put that in. Let me just put it in the chat instead of... Did it work? Yeah. No, uh, no I didn't. Uh, <laughs> put in no, that's chat. okay. So basically, you have to make a DC-20 occultism yeah. check. So if you you can click on the DC twenty chat uh, the DC twenty prompt yep. there and it will roll it. It is a twenty three. So you did do it. So yep. now, um, if you use the aid action to help one of your allies during that time, which so you're helping so much um, love, Ash. Thank you. You're helping uh, Croc take yes. a uh, a medicine check. Yes. Or not not occultism. No, I roll I'm an sorry, occultism no, occult to okay. a no. teaching, and then I can. No, but but give Croc, that Croc is also doing an occultism check, is what I'm saying. Oh, gotcha. So Croc, you can do an occultism check if you want. Um, you can add plus one. I think it's circumstance bonus. Yeah. Double 23s. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that although there's not really a um, a particular like cult or religion that kills people or sacrifices people in this way, um, you can tell that this man was killed by poison because you you have seen like some cults especially of the uh you know the 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 drow like murder cults mm -hmm. and things like that that they with that tend to murder <laughs> with poison you you, ha you have sort of seen that you know this people die in this horrible sort of manner for that way i would say okay so we're dealing with drow poison of some sort well no you, poison is what i'm going to say oh, not okay. not not drow in particular but like it's it's like a very this would be like a very nasty poison that did this to him gotcha and his legs are incredibly swollen so he was probably bitten on the legs by something like a rat with rabies but like super rabies or snakes that we saw earlier yeah, yeah so there were snakes do, yeah so i would say you could um do a uh you could do a medicine check, you could do a perception check, a survival check. Those sorts of things would probably be helpful in figuring out what bit him. If anybody wants to do any of that. Um, I'll do a survival. I got something in that. Okay. What does the strong man know? How to survive. Oh. 18, not bad. But is it enough? That's plenty. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so you, uh, so rug after like being distracted by something for a bit, you see that everyone's sort of paying attention to this. You go <laughs> up and you take a closer look at his legs and you say snake. <laughs> and 
you sort of notice that there's many, many holes in these pants. They're very tiny, but they're just the perfect size of many, many snake fangs, just like biting into these legs repeatedly over several minutes. Minutes? Holy jeez. Pants were tiny. No, 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 there's holes. Sorry. Okay, tiny thund holes thunder the is for the thighs. Uh, he always wore very small pants. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a t-shirt that says thunder thighs save lives <laughs> uh, not his though it didn't they uh, no they did not they save his life his at all <laughs> yeah. uh, get all that blood flow to his thighs so it just circulated the poison so fast <laughs> or the venom excuse me but you can tell that it is snake. Snake venom is what caused this. Hmm. Okay. And and Madam Wondergog saw off some snakes last time. I did. I did scare away some snakes last time. Last time. Hmm. So we have to be on the lookout for snakes. Are there like snakes that are like, um, natural to this island or this area that we should be worried about? That's you check a nature check. I mean, gotcha. Um, I have a plus zero society. in nature. Is anyone else? Uh, I have a. I have a plus one in society. Does anyone else want to tell me if snakes are dangerous in this area? <laughs> <laughs> I can roll it if you want, but uh, just just asking, you know. I don't think y'all want me to roll it. Okay, sorry. The area is an Absalon, right? That we're hanging. Uh, what? I'm, it's, I'm, it's it's like in a wilderness island to the north. I'm basically asking what your nature value is. I got nothing. Got a, there we go. Anyway. All right, I'm just gonna roll a nature check then. I've got a plus two <laughs> if you want me to roll it. You have a plus two to nature? Yeah. Tell me about yeah. snakes, Wondergog. <laughs> Madam Wondergog will tell you about snakes. I'm very small. You need to keep an eye out. Keep eye out for danger present. <laughs> danger noodles. 22 that's with a critical. Nice. So that's a critical success. Hell yeah, that's a critical success. You know everything about snakes. You do know I a lot about snakes. I need to keep an eye out for danger <laughs> snakes. So. I'm very small. Very easy for bird to pick up. Very <laughs> easy for big snake. As, as she said that, uh, like, Croc just like, walks over and like picks her up by her head. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, bird picked her up. No. <laughs> so ah, you're you very know, funny. you're lucky. You're funny. You're very funny, bird. <laughs> so you're not only able to tell that these are snake bites, bites, and which snakes did this, but you can tell that it's two different types of vipers. The first one is the Cortos giant viper, and the other one is the Aaron is the Aaronite is just the Aaronite viper. Are they? natural to this area the cortos viper is rare in this area um but but you know they, they do appear but they avoid like you know they, they avoid plate like anywhere with civilization so where i would be yelling there would not be snakes <laughs> exactly whereas the aronite viper that's not too unusual to see around here okay. um now for example a cortos viper is actually what um um, Eliza has Eliza the snake. Tamer. Our snake lady she does have. She does have a Cortos viper, and she might be able to tell you more about these creatures. I was about to ask. Should we ask her some questions about that? That's a big ass snake. That's not a small a snake. <laughs> I mean, it is a giant viper, and she is a gnome, but that's still a big snake. Hers is a baby Cortos viper, though. It's not like a giant what? one, and this seems to be from a larger adult. Viper. Like, like if I go to the landing page right now, right? Like, yeah. And her, her, it was also extremely depressed last session. That is yeah, a huge ass like... snake. Even if she's a no, Mister Tickles is giant. <laughs> also, I love that his name is Mister Tickles. Me and Mister Tickles, not best of friends, but all right. I, well, enough. I guess we should find. Um... I can only think of Mister Tickles. I can't think of her. Name. Eliza. Oh, we guess we should go find her and uh, ask her about snakes. This is just like National Geographic the stream. Now, I think you all should be able to move to the fire, which is like to the east of here on your own. If you want, I can just move you over there, though. Can I just drag myself? 
Yeah, you should just be able to. Oh, I got I gotta actually go around things though. Yeah, you can't just like run directly there. Oh no, I'm stuck. Alright, now if I have to go around the water, I'm gonna be upset. Damn it, I do. <laughs> Do you want to make? Do you, would you like to make an athletics check to long jump? No, I'm just gonna walk around the. Guys, you're gonna have to go around the water. Just, just telling you now. Yeah, I actually tried to go through without doing. doing I, if you want, you can that's, make that's an athletics check nope, to long nope. jump. Nope, I'm going. I'm going. I'm, I'm gonna almost make an there. Athletics check to long jump it. Oh god. Can I do an acrobatics check to do a cool like a Yoda flip? <laughs> if you go farther down the stream, Anarchy. you can go to the rock crossing there and you can do an acrobatics check. Thanks for stopping in, Cruel. How you doing? <laughs> distance is too far for a Ooh. acrobatics check. Oh, there's a mouse. Are you finally Oh, I see mice. You finally see them and they're like bouncing along? Yeah, this one's swimming in the river. Oh. I went around the river. Oh, I was going to say <laughs> even in this spot that I'm in right now, I have to go down to the rocks. Zombies? Oh uh, yeah, you'd have to you'd have to go down to the rocks. I'm gonna go down to the rocks, do a sick oh! flip. Myron has a wagon. We might want to investigate the wagon too. Too busy doing a sick flip, guys. You said long jump. Uh yeah, that would be an athletic. Different game. That um, was a nat twenty six. Not from last stream. It is uh, new. Yeah, I don't know how you from, just did um, that again. Okay, yeah, both you make your long a new jump game technically perfectly. Though, yeah. We stopped the, um, the pirate Brock, adventure like, and beautiful. decided to do a circus and, uh, instead. Somehow, Gog, you 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 do your Yoda flips, and uh, Gog, when you come over, the uh, I the don't two, like this stuff. <laughs> the uh, well, so there's some rustabouts there. They're they're basically the uh, um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the word. The uh, the groupies of the circus, and they're currently cutting down some trees in the area to you know for for fire for the night and everything. Okay, um, so oh, sorry, like, I can um, move you over, Croc. We have groupies? Trying timber, Tim. Sorry? They're trying to get some timber for the fire. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do, exactly. <laughs> but they're on our side. Yeah, so the uh, the crew's all around the... Uh, also, how you doing, all around the I hope fire, you're doing well so there. doing their thing right now. Am I supposed to see this? <laughs> Healing their legs. Uh, supposed to see what? What I'm pinging. Uh, no. No, you're not. Oh, 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 I'm gonna go see it. No, don't Quick. don't see it. Oh, it's not there. Whatever it was. It's the good there. news is I only saw the roustabouts and didn't pay attention to anything else. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't like those guys. Curse I you, shadows! Saw... I almost saw whatever it was. Well, even if your character's uh, <laughs> perception is not high enough, Croc, yours obviously. <laughs> 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 Lee, as a person, has a high perception. <laughs> oh, okay. man. This makes me wondering what, like, our real-life stats would be. Mine are not. Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Crit ones on life. <laughs> I'm like, which one's my dump stat? All of them. So everyone's sort of quietly sitting around the fire. Um, Nursing their wounds. You know, nursing their wounds, <laughs> you know, sort of trying to deal with the day's events. Um, and uh, so are you going to join them or are you going to, you know, try to get um, Eliza to talk to you guys or oh, what's your strategy? Uh, cruel says hi, by the way. Um, hi, Cruel. Oh. Uh, we should probably get Eliza uh, uh, by herself so that we don't freak everyone else out about a snake killing our ringleader. Okay. Um, just be like, just, just tap her on the shoulder like, can we, can we talk to you over by Myron Thunder Thighs Stendhal's wagon? Uh, of course, she says in her little gnomey voice. Come on, Mr. Tickles. And Mr. Tickles sort of slithers along behind her. Does um, she ride Mr. Tickles? Is she small enough to ride Mr. Tickles? Um, like, well, dude. Mr. Tickles is still recovering from his from his <laughs> disease, so I'll think on that. <laughs> but not right now. And uh, I think she Can respects I Mr. Tickles. I ride Mr. Tickles? <laughs> I think Mr. Tickles is also of small size, so probably not. Okay. He's a big snake, but he's not that big of a snake. Not yet. Snake, oh, it's a snake. There we go. Uh, 
to. Uh, Nobody Winston privately rolled some dice. I there. So if you click on the dice in the in your little chat box at the bottom, you can like add all of your dice together. And I kept hitting it by accident, and the only way to get rid of them is to roll them. Oh jeez. Um, Life is while, hard. <laughs> while they're talking with uh, Elysia, I want to kind of distract the the group at the at the tent by just like basically performing a you know a medical checkup on them. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's a great idea. Has everyone had um... their shots? <laughs> <laughs> Can I see? I kind of just want to like stand next to Axel here, and um, I I want to check on his birds. <laughs> like, I want to. Oh, his his birds are great. He had the show of his life. Yeah, he had a great show. He's actually the only one at the fire who's kind of happy right now. Like, he put on the performance <laughs> of his show. life. He showed Myron that he's an actual actor. You know, he has well, a ring master. I, I don't. I don't think Myron. Him. I don't. I don't think Myron uh, witnessed it, but. Uh... <laughs> The rest of, of us did. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, I guess, where I'm more useful. Like, listening in or talking with Eliza and Mr. Tickles. So, like, my, my entire purpose is just to keep the, the rest of the... Yeah, do you want to roll your medicine check? Uh, yeah, I was trying to... Like, do you want me to roll treat wounds because they're injured or just roll a general medicine? Just roll a ger general medicine check. What about an um, I, I would say treat wounds we can use in a more um, standard situation. Okay, uh, I so wanted like, to, I wanted to help him out again. I was going to say I can deliver my farm wisdom. So, oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. it would it roll, would just be a plus one check. Yeah. Um. Gog How many times is... per day can you use that? Um, till the start of your next turn, you count as having prepared aid to all allies within 30 feet of you. Look it's at just that. an action. Yeah. That's awesome. And you can give aid yeah. to multiple people with that? Oh, you yeah. can use your reaction. So basically, you're just, yeah. oh, but you can use occultism to aid. That's right. so powerful. That's wacky. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I have, like, farm wisdom where it's just like, you know, not all breaks are bad. Bone grows back stronger in nature. <laughs> Damn. Hey, can, can you make that not private? Yeah, we oh, want to see when you fail. <laughs> uh, reveal to everyone. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, not today. That didn't help. Well, that's okay. So, so, uh, um, Madam Wondergog is trying to help. <laughs> so, so, Croc, while well, you're trying to, like, you came in meaning to triage, but you know the Kambani sister, like the Kambani family really well. Um, you know, you, they, you've been doing area, uh, you've been doing aerialist tricks with them for like over a year now. So, like, you immediately start tending to their wounds because that's just who you're close, closest to. Rather than sort of like figuring out who needs it most, um, but but you are able to help them out. Okay, let's jump. Who wants to uh, talk to? So Yelindar and Rug are both talking to Eliza. So, yup. Just wanted to. Uh, so I guess we're we're gonna just ask her about if she's seen any suspicious snakes around. And if she knows anything more about, um, I guess, the, the kind of venom that Mr. Tickles has. Um, okay, so she, says, so she says, suspicious snakes. The only snake I've seen around is this big guy. And she sort of pets Mr. Tickles on the head. Um, and, uh, and in the case of venom, why are you asking questions like that? I mean, I'm sure Mr. Tickles' venom could kill someone if bit enough times, but Mr. Tickles would never do something like that. Hmm. What the fuck, Eliza? <laughs> I I go to stroke my my chin, which uh, when I my hand goes across my face changes my mask to a mask that has a beard. Uh, <laughs> and so I, I I'm stroking the fake beard on the mask. Um, many 
Bitten many times, you say. Hmm. Would it cause undue swelling? Oh, yeah, definitely. Hmm. It'd blow think... up like a balloon if it bit me that many times. Hmm. Let's see. Do we tell her about Myron? Hmm. I'm going to do it because everyone deserves to know about the ringmaster. We think that Thunder, Thunder Thighs Strendel may have been bitten by, well, two different kinds of snakes. And one of them, the kind that Mr. Tickles is. A Cortos Viper? But they very rarely attack unless in self-defense. And they would never come anywhere near the tent unless trained. Hmm, unless trained. Wait, does that mean you think... Shit, and her, her, her face gets very, uh... Oh, no, I trust Mr. Tickles with my and life. It goes white as she says, Do you think he was murdered? As she whispers. Oh. As, as quietly as a gnome can. I'm going to lean in and say, Yes! <gasps> but we need your help, and everyone else's help eventually, to figure out by whom. Whom? Thank you. Whomst. Whom? I miss I said whom. I know what you said, and then I heard what Nopi said. Do we have it? So we don't know. We don't have any suspects. Snakes. What about? I mean, I don't know who could train snakes to do that around here. Well, you would be my number one person to ask about who could train snakes. Damn. <laughs> There's not like a snake trainers uh, monthly or something that goes around. Are you uh, all not you guys? Right, right after you say that, the professor sort of comes up from behind you all and he says, "So I've sent the sideshow of everyday wonders into town to investigate if there's anyone who is unhappy with our presence." Oh, should I be there then? <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wonder Gog does just what she wants. Wonder Gog down here. I think you're more useful in the investigations here, Gog. Okay, as long as you did not forget about Gog here. Very small, but very small. Unfortunately, you don't fit into rural Aaron society quite as well as the other members do. How will the Sideshow <laughs> Act fit in, though? I they fit in perfectly. <laughs> like I, I fit in perfectly. Like carry on luggage, just <laughs> very easy to hide in trench coat. Ah, just it's try to help out here, Gog. Don't worry. Okay. The dog-faced dog will stick opinion. out like a sore thumb. <laughs> <laughs> I like the reaction. Fucking whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, do you want to ask Eliza any more questions or? Um, no, I think we've pretty, uh, pretty solidly confirmed the cause of death at this point. But there and... were, were two, um, two different snake bites. Uh, well, yes. How did her snake get sick in the first place? Well, I, I, I mean, if she knew, I think she would have told us. But you can ask her. Go, go for it. All right. Is there any chance that you might know how your snake got sick? Uh, I, I don't know. It had the goblin pox. But that means, she thinks for a second, does that mean another snake gave Mr. Tickles the goblin pox? Well, I'm not a doctor, so... Are you saying Mr. Tickles got an STD? <laughs> this is anti-goblin propaganda <laughs> this is all Gog is still near the fire but is just yelling this across <laughs> um, <laughs> she's got very big ears so she's like situational awareness Like, choo, choo. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure we're going to get any more out of El Elysia um 
So I think I'd like to investigate Myron's wagon. That's probably the best move for now. Okay. Maybe if, uh, um, if the snakes didn't work, there was another trap, or maybe he left so, us something. Yeah, so maybe when you look at the wagon, you see that there is a colorful banner that uh, advertises the Circus of Wayward Wonders in large capital letters. And there's also all of the different posters from all the different acts in the circus. Aww. A couple pictures of all of you um, and all of the other posters of all the other actors, some from the Aww. sideshow. Um, so you can tell that like he really loved this circus. Oh, Myron's um, my favorite NPC that only lasted five minutes. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> as you get to the uh, as you get to the door, though, Wait, um, are you going to try and open it? Yes. Oh, well, I not that I'd try, but that's fair. Wait, it's just that? a door. I don't expect it to be hard to open. As I mean, you if try it's to a... open the door, it's locked. All right. Now what's you can open it. <laughs> what's very unusual is that the key wasn't on Myron's body. Oh. All right, Rug, you're up. Well, here goes nothing. Could you roll an athletics check for me, Cookie? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, that was good. That's rough, buddy. Okay. Um, so you bust open the door, but you do so with too much strength and go straight in, and all of this pollen just comes flying out of the cart. Um, so let me pollen. throw one of these things down. Okay, so Cookie, I need you to roll a... Actually, it's just going to try and attack you real quick. It's an attack um, plant? <laughs> Attack pollen. Go. <laughs> Hit pollen. Oh god! It oh. Got a thirty-two. Hey, um, I don't. I don't think you can do anything against that, my dude. So it's going to do ten damage to you. Okay. Hey sniper, you, you didn't give me that a, time. Um, <laughs> could have been way worse. And you need to take a will check for me. Two times one d. Like, that could have been a 16. Nine. Yeah. Um. Okay, so you're actually confused right now. So, um, Yolindar, you're right behind him, and you can see that now that pod has, like, sprayed at him and is now sort of, like, it, it's sagging now, but you see there's three other pods, uh -huh. and Rug is in danger of stumbling into the other three and waking them up. Ah, uh, can and I... And he's confused and doesn't know what's going on. Can I light them on fire? Is that a good idea? That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> if they're they're in the tent, aren't they? So I probably would. Well, they're they're in the they're in the wagon. They're they're in yeah, Byron's sorry, wagon, and me, and we, Rug we is there. Evidence out of there. Yeah, if I if I just shoot fire in there, I might destroy what we need to find. Um, but I need to get Rug out. So uh, let me just look at my spell. I don't think I have a spell that'll help. Um. Can I just grab Rug and like pull it, like grab him yeah. by his by his loincloth and pull him back or whatever? <laughs> so you manage to pull Rug back out of the uh, out of cloth. the uh, wagon then. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Cool. So uh, there are evil demon plants in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna call oh, out to uh, to everyone else. Demon plants. My mask is now one of fear with a big scary ah face. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Before um, everybody else hopefully stop, starts panicking. So, Elysia is looking in, and she's able to say, are those dream pollen pods? I have Here? no idea. They're demon plants. That's so unusual. And why are they in Myron's wagon? Why are there four of them? This doesn't make any sense. Are they particularly rare? Well, I mean, the fact that they sort of seem, I mean, unless Myron has been growing them for months, they shouldn't be that tall. Okay. But they refuel about once an hour and they spray it. I mean, they spray at creatures and then eat them if they get too close. Um, I'm assuming since cool. Rug is uh, like confused that I just want to keep him from going anywhere. So I'm just going to sit on him. 
Um, Can I, I mean, have, like a quick table talk second. Yeah, uh, sure. What's up? We've got lots of unusual things, unusual snakes. Unusual, unusual mice. Unusual amounts of mice. Unusual plants. Okay, cool. I just yeah. needed a second to say that. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm sitting on rug, just trying to keep him in place, thinking, you think someone, someone was really after Myron, but were they only after Myron? Like, this feels like overkill. <laughs> Are you um, laughing at me, Tim? I feel like we should inspect everyone's wagons just to make sure they're not filled with death plants. When Chris said this seems like overkill, I went, there's no more kill, I can work kill. Do we not want to, I mean, should we do something about those plants to try and get to Myron's desk? There might be clues there. Oh, they're, they're demon plants. I'm not sure how you'd get in there without letting them off. And I don't want to shoot fire in there or I'd destroy all the evidence. So, um, can I, I oh, oh my God. Yeah. I, okay. So I exclusively took stupid spells, but this might actually come in handy. Uh -oh. I have a cantrip called approximate. Okay. okay. Which means I, my magic quickly flows over an area to help me count and catalog. So I can cast approximate, yeah. approximate in a 10 foot range and see if any of the other wagons have these death pods in them. Okay, that's a good one. Um, I think you have to be able to see them, so you'd have to open the doors. Um, uh, oh, that are clearly visible within the target area. Okay, fair enough. Okay, then maybe I won't do it. Hey, Croc, can you, like, flap your wings and blow this pollen away? Oh, that would have been so fucking funny if I did that, though. No? no? Maybe? Uh, <laughs> he, he doesn't have wings. Doesn't oh. I, I, <laughs> uh, can you wag your arms? I, I don't know. Wag your um, own arms. Wag <laughs> your own arms. <laughs> Elizia knows we about these plants. We are into slightly racist territory. <laughs> we come to Earth and Dublin. And everyone just uh, needs to chill out a little bit. Elizia, can you tell us anything else about these plants? <laughs> well, a, 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 a sufficiently skilled herbalist might be able to get in there and, um, well, snip the pollen pod from them before they can spray we have an herbalist what does that mean? do any of does anyone take care of plants i mean i guess i could try <laughs> <laughs> i've like i said i've got a plus two to nature so like i could okay so i right, do you want to send in elizia she is here to help um, I don't want to lose Elysia, though. We're going to run out of that. She only has 10 health, though. So if she takes oh. the same amount of damage that Rogue just did, <sighs> she would die. Um, I just... can, can I grab a rock and try throwing it at one? Oh, yeah. see if we can get the pollen out? Yes. Oh, now you're thinking with portals. Damn it. They I have about, I mean, they have a spray range of about 20 feet. So be careful. Hmm. Yeah, but there's only one door, right? So as long as yeah. we're not standing in front of the door, like, just throw it around the corner. Yeah, I'm just... Whatever. Somewhere. Yeah. Um, do you I don't even know do where the door a, is, uh, so. I don't even know what a throw check is. Is that a... I think it's a... I think it's technically an attack, right? Yeah. So it would be a weapon. It would basically be oh, plus throw, seven throw, for you. It, there's a throw rock. Oh, is there? Do There's that. a throw rock check? <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Um, this oh, game yeah, has everything. Is. Do it. Where is that? But, uh, is it letting me do that? It's not there. Um... Wait. Is it... <laughs> uh... Oh, I can't actually do that. Okay. Um... <laughs> Let's copy this, uh, and then I'll just do that as is. 
Anthrax to pick up a rock within reach to retrieve a stowed rock, then throws it with a ranged rock strike. Oh, I think that's for a uh, particular type of pet, but you can throw a rock. Like, you can just pick up a rock <laughs> yeah. and throw it. I'm not it just, sure I you, can. It deals, like, <laughs> 1d4 damage. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, that's... So for I'm you, sure. it's plus 7, because it's your dexterity plus your training. Because you're trained Tra in thrown weapons. You're trained so. in rocks? <laughs> He's trained in thrown weapons, and a rock is... Holy shit! <laughs> Not only do you take out one, but you aim this rock so perfectly that you get all of the pan plants to spray at each other, disturbing them in such a way. Ding, 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 ding. Hmm. Does, that, does that affect them? The, like, does their own pollen hurt? Well, so they can only spray once an hour. Yeah. So now we just have to air this bad boy out and look around. Okay. So, I mean, you can open all the windows and the, you know. Yeah. I'm going to okay, start sure. flapping my arms at it, too. <laughs> oh my so God. you all get all the op windows open, and Elysia goes and mm -hmm. snips all the pollen buds out. And, uh, you know, and says, confused. Yeah, if I can safely get these, I mean, if I can safely get these all figured out, we should be, we should be eating well this week. Wait, what? Are they tasty? <laughs> no, but... You eat what you can on the road. Isn't that right, Mr. Tickles? And it opens its mouth. <laughs> I like Mr. Tickles. Croc, croc, croc just like grabs one and just like. <laughs> <laughs> croc so is like, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> fine dining in Tengu <laughs> So yeah. as you I search. Love that Sorry, go ahead. I love that we went, can you eat these? And Croc went, challenge accepted. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> okay, so. All right, let's inspect amongst this. His, amongst his, uh, let me get all of these. So who's, who's doing the looting? I, I wouldn't call it looting, I, but, you know. Not the looting, sorry. Who's doing the searching through his wagon? I would love to search through his wagon. Okay. So. Wink. You find. So you find a potion in a crystal vial. You also find an ever-burning torch that's engraved with the phrase, see what you want to see, which was his personal saying. Um a bear skin marked with a golden leaf that's worth approximately seven gold from what you can tell from your time in the mercantile world mm -hmm. um and a cape once worn by a skilled animal trainer named the great fortunato and it has that emblazoned across the back in gold animal trainer i have a, i have follow-up question yeah did Fortunato get walled up? Did he get, like, bricked behind a wall? So the Fortun Fortunato died a few years back of natural causes. Are um, we sure? But... Not... I'm trying to make a cask of Amontillado joke here. Yeah, I don't know uh, what that is. So... <laughs> it's the um, cask of a, a thousand paints of Fortunato. It's a whole thing. He he gets Fortunato. I, I got it. Thank you, Lee. Somewhat, finally, a man of character. Um, <laughs> so... Okay, I was trying to make a joke and it didn't work. So, so the great Fortunato, he died a few, uh, a few, I guess, months back at this point. Um, but his his uh, his bear that he used to do his act with, Bardolf, is uh, still here. He's a, he's in a wagon. <gasps> okay, right so it's it's not the bearskin cape that we have. <laughs> <laughs> My heart like dropped the second you said bear. No, no, Bardolf is actually here. He couldn't participate in the act because he was feeling sick. But he's like uh, way up in the northwest by where your tent is. You say we have, have a bear. Box? Uh, you don't know what's up with Bardolf. You you haven't gone and seen him. Uh, can I cast detect magic to see if there's anything magical about? these things or anything else in this cart? Uh, yeah. So the ever burning torch is magical. Um, it's a torch that it's not actually on fire. It's just sort of always lit on top hmm. and you can like put it in your bag. You, it's just, you know, a really useful torch to have. Um, and when you do detect magic, um, hmm. 
along with your passive arcana, you're able to detect that the potion in the crystal vial is a Bravo's, a lesser Bravo's brew. Do I know what that does? Uh, I can tell you what it does. Sorry, let me. Can you tell me what I want? Like what I really, really want? Oh, uh. lesser. A Bravo's Blue is a flask of foaming beer that grants courage. For the next hour after drinking this elixir, you gain a plus one item bonus to will saves or plus two against fear. Oh. So who wants that? Okay, I've well, let's go in and dog's inventory for now. There you guess. go. Yeah, we can put everything. Because... Uh, so you also have thank you, the... MP. <laughs> How's it going, MP? The ever-burning torch, so I'll give you that. Um, yeah. and then you also have I guess a total of 12, 12 golds worth of just like other stuff unless you okay. want to keep it okay but there was nothing nothing magical or more unusual in the, the wagon or anything Um, what's up with this bear skin it's worth 12 gold yeah it's uh the bear skin is worth 7 gold the cape the animal trainer cape is worth 5 gold <clears throat> why would we Oh. Or you can keep them, whatever you want. It's it's whatever you want to do. So you Sounds got two good, quotes. MP. Got to get that 3D printer I going. Can... Our our GM so there, the one Petty Fury, and 3D cloak. prints as well. Mm. Then the other one is a mouse. So many, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Brothers brew. Is there, um, randomly, a rhyme yeah. or reason to all these mice? Good question. Can I, well, can I, 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 like, these mice are freaking me anymore. out. Right? Are they, like, all going in the same direction? Are they, no, they're, like... They're, they're, they're looking around. They're, they're just sort of doing their thing. Do you want to roll perception check? Yes. I want to see if there's anything, like, if I notice anything unusual about them, other than the amount of them. Because, at least on my screen, I'm getting a ton of them. Yeah, there's there there are a weird amount of mice. Um, was it? Sh oh, perception right there. Shift click right. Whoop, fifteen. Nice. Um, so you can tell that these mice are almost purposely leaving tracks in every which direction. Hmm. Hmm. Yulandar is now entranced by these mice, and he's going to figure this out. But they seem to be... I mean, they're mice. Why would they have a unified will? But they seem to be trying to cover up the tracks, you know, cover up where people are walking. Even where you were walking a little while ago seems to be covered up by all these weird little mice prints. They're hiding things! A mouse starts, like, crawling up. Gog. <laughs> Stop it. Mm. I am not a jungle. Mm. Now, if someone wants to try and figure out that if someone rolls a high enough survival check, they can still figure out the prince. So I try to figure out <laughs> what I'm confused. Remember? Oh, yeah, you're okay now. We, we'd have to be in the right spot too. like right now. We just have everyone's tracks because everybody is here yeah but you might so be able to go any... to where you found myron or something like that is there an indication of how the plants got in there because it was locked yeah very weird um well, so like in my in my rifling did i find anything so, else uh with a nature check you might be able to find something Could I make the case for thievery? <laughs> sure. <Yes. laughs> but if they didn't steal anything. They left stuff. <laughs> you're going to require a much higher but check. I'm, like, I'm trying to find all the good stuff. Yeah. So as I'm looking through the good stuff, I might notice something else. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, I have a plus two to nature, but I have a plus six to thievery. Yeah, yep. but the check's harder. I got a 22 on thievery. Of course you did. 
What else did I find, Tim? So, you don't She's know a lot cold. about you don't know a lot about plants or nature, or really any of that. But um, you know, you know, you know what it takes to survive, and you know sometimes you got to pill for a plant to get the good stuff inside of it, just so you can eat another day. And uh, what's really weird about these plants is even though they're really big, they haven't grown their seeds yet, which means they haven't matured at all. It's almost like someone planted hit them and used some sort of weird magic to get them to grow quickly and unnaturally. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I guess I'll do my survival check to see what exactly these mice are doing. Okay. Nope. Hey, you got this, MP. Okay. <laughs> um, I believe in you. Bison whistles yeah, for the win. So... And Tim you is a actually, great deal. Um, <laughs> start following the tracks, and you seem to s smell something coming from the quarry in the southeast. How did I find anything with a critical one, Tim? Because he's being benevolent it's, and it's nice. It's called failing forward. <laughs> failing, failing forward. forward. <laughs> Because even if you <laughs> fail, you should still learn something. Uh, or, or I could be, or I could be trying to misdirect you on purpose. I mean, oh, they mm -hmm. chat love that failing forward part. By the way, <laughs> wait, if everyone's really quiet, you can hear a choo choo in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Tim. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's me. I learned that I'm bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> I learned we definitely there is definitely smells. Um, Tim, you said there was a leaf shaped um, medallion yeah. thing I on sure the bear did. thing. Mm -hmm. I have a leaf shaped medallion that I found yesterday. Do they match? Oh, is it like um, a clasp? Uh, well, the one I have is uh, I'm assuming like on a chain. They do match. They do yeah. match. One and is yours is God. yours is green. Yes, mine the is other green. One's like the other one's very nice and gold and like pretty, but they are the same symbol. And I don't recognize these symbols. Does does anyone recognize these leaves? I'm just gonna like. Does anyone want to roll a religion check? Uh, Where, where's my monk? He's religious, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is the symbol of Gazra. Um, Gazra is the god of of the dualistic di deity of nature, the god of storms and sky, and also the god of wave and surf. So, one of the big nature gods in Pathfinder. Gotcha. Heard of that. Yeah, you probably have, Cookie. Thank you, Croc. <laughs> um, oh no, you've gone out of focus, Chris. Oh no! Not again. Um... I don't know what to do Ew. with this information, but... And this is what the symbol looks like. A leaf? Yeah, no, I swear I've seen this symbol. Hmm. I don't know yeah, where I've probably. seen this symbol. Where, where is the symbol? Did you put it in the Discord or something? Yeah, yeah. sorry, yeah, I put it in the Discord Pathfinder chat. Gotcha. <laughs> um, oh, my arm didn't twist the right way. There we go. That's where I've seen that symbol before. <laughs> Do do I know anything like is this familiar to me or anyone like as something belonging to somebody like um I, I mean, mean Gazra is one is like one of the leading it's like the leading nature deity so it's not super unusual this and this cape this bearskin cape belonged to Flamboni No 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 that's no, the I other cape the other well, okay. The great Fortunato wore the other cape. Oh, the great Fortunato, gotcha. And that one has great Fortunato written in it. There's also a bearskin, yeah, bearskin cape so the that bear... has a golden leaf. But we cape. don't know who that belongs. We, I mean, we got it out of Myron's thing. Don't know who it thing. belongs to. It doesn't have a name on it. You never saw Myron wear it. It's because he was so proud of his thighs, he wouldn't hide them behind a bearskin cape. <laughs> <laughs> I I I'm gonna sit on the ground and in like contemplate this. 
for a little while here. Yulindar is like confused, <laughs> squatting at mice. Okay, so as as a Yulindar starts squatting and everyone else is doing whatever they're doing, you hear the rustabout scream. Snake. Wait, did they say you kind of cut out? Snake. Sorry. Snake. Oh, snake. 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 It's snake, a snake. Oh, snake. Oh, it's a snake. Um, and they're the ones Take down. The ones that uh crop the ones that were dropping yeah. trees. Um, I'm going to ignore it at first, and then remember we're looking for snakes, and go, oh fuck, and um. Take the bear skin with me, I guess, and the medallion, because now they're both lost things. Madam Wondergog has fashioned a pair of skates out of mice that she's tied to her um, feet. Yeah, actually, before everyone starts moving, could everyone roll initiative for me, please? Dun dun! Uh, let me create an encounter. I roll. 21! Where's the roll thing? Uh, if you open up your, th your, your character sheet, it's going to be on the left side bar. It's the D20 looking thing under the word initiative, about halfway down the left side of the, the character sheet. I'm pretty sure I rolled. Oh no, not yet. Uh, there you go. Did that apply? Jeez, so many initiatives. Oh, but I can just see them on this screen. Haha. -ha. Um, uh, that didn't apply. Cookie, you me. still need to go to the encounter page. And roll. But he he's on the initiative. He hasn't rolled yet. Oh, there we go. There we go. Initiative mm -hmm. seven. Okay. So first one to go is the giant viper. Giant viper is gonna go forward, target this rust about here, and uh, do a strike. Um. And crit. He's critting our workers. So that worker is dead. God Bummer. damn. <laughs> Uh, and that is the... Oh, and then the Viper is going to use its second move to stride and move there. And uh, that is... Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to begin the encounter. So uh, that is... Sorry, I'm trying to get this. There we go. Jeez. Next turn is Yelendar's. Holy crap. Um, I need to... I need to cast a spell so I can go into Arcane Cascade. Um... I am going to, ooh, can I do that? Um, is it just the two roustabouts that are here? Are there other people nearby or anything like uh, that? Those are the only two. They were both chopping wood there. All right, and I'm assuming that guy is aware of the snake now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After the other guy screamed snake and was immediately bit in the face. Yeah. The... Oh, and it's also a giant snake, that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, cast them. It's two actions. We get three actions a, a turn, correct? Yep, exactly. So I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I'm trying to. I gotta remember how the game works now too. So that takes yeah, but two actions. Spells cast multiple cost multiple actions. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Like I, um, I have one. Um, two. Yep. And cask. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Sorry. Bless you. Does Cascade cost an action to do? I'm assuming it does. Uh, let's Arcane Cascade does take an action. It's under your actions there. All right. You see that symbol there that looks like a square with another square inside of it? Yes. That's the action symbol. Oh, and then one underneath my spell strike. Too. Okay, I see. I figured it out. Yeah, that's I got two it. actions. Yep. All right. Um. Uh, uh, how about how far? Uh, okay, I guess I can count the square. Uh, oh, wait, I can uh, you can also uh, measure it by holding uh, control. Uh, control. That's about fifty feet and away. I'm moving you all like closer here. Mm -hmm. All right, so I want to move to be. Oh wait, no, the snake's over there. I was counting to. The... It's about sixty feet away. I can move thirty feet though. I want to move thirty feet with one action. Okay. So that I'm, I guess I have to be right 
on him, right? So that's 35 feet, so I gotta move one more square. Whoop! Right? Yeah. And then I want to cast Produce Flame. Okay. Which is a two-action thing-a-thing. And shoot fire at this fucker. Do it. Cast. Oh, I got that. So now you roll. You target it with T and then roll attack. Oh, that's right. T. That thing. Oh nope, not him. That no. That. There we go. Attack. Roll. Swoop. Uh. Uh. That's a thirteen. You Is rolled that... attack, right? I did hit attack. Yes. Okay. Well, it has nineteen armor. I think. Wait. What is that target? It should be the the big snake. The red the red no, triangles are. I'm right. sorry. Does it target? AC? Oh. Um. Yeah. So that actually missed. Dang. All right. Well, that was a two action spell too. But the important thing is, I cast the spell so I can go in the cascade next turn. Yay. So, yep. so uh, whenever you're ready, move to the next turn, and we'll move to. Ah, uh, yes. I I have to actually hit the end yeah. turn button. I mean, I can hit Whoop. it too. Nope. But... I want to do it. I want to do it, Tim. Turn. Thank also, you. thank you for your contribution. <laughs> Yeah. Of um. Course. So, does my uh, will my recall the teachings actions um count towards my unleash psyche? So, um, my unleash psyche says that as long as on uh as long as you cast a spell on your previous turn, and I did use so recall, recall the, the teachings, teachings is not a spell. Okay. It's an action. You'd actually have to go to one of your spells and cast one of those. Gotcha. Just wanted to make sure. I'm yep. going to do a telekinetic rend amped, except I forgot okay. thing. So now what you have to do is you target one of the creatures. Well, make sure you're in range as well. Uh, and it's a 60 foot range. Uh, so it's 90 feet to the snakes right now. So you might need to stride forward yeah. a bit. One, two. If you hold control, you can see the exact measurement. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Did I get it? Giant snake. So telekinetic rend yeah. actually placed down two non-overlapping five yeah. foot bursts. Yeah. Nope, that's not where I want the other one. Uh, I can also get place it. it. <laughs> you want it on the other snake? Yes, please. Okay. Um, I think I need to move like one more foot in though. Okay. Um, and then the uh, snakes one need more... to roll a fortitude check. Yeah. Oh, I have to put my... Is the fortitude of a snake? Uh, uh, so the Viper small fail. one critically fails. Yeah. The big one is completely fine. So could you roll damage by clicking on the damage button? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, was that a critical fail? On the one, on the small one. Yeah. Um, because... I did this at the amped level. It's uh, also stunned. Oh. Um, and it does 1d6 bludgeoning and 1d6 Oh, wait. So splashing. did you spend a focus point to cast that? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, so did you cast the amped verge? Okay. That should have automatically done your damage for you if you clicked on damage. I don't know why they didn't. That was weird. I don't know okay. either. The the targeting Wait, is also. Wait, did you click on the damage? Okay, it doesn't matter. But he took seven damage, um, and it should be double that. So he actually took fourteen damage. I lack. Uh, that he's to that character. super dead. Okay. So... Well, he would also be stunned. But anyway. Wondergog the snake killer. I kill only the bad snakes. Um, and um... I think that's the end of your turn. Uh, that was, that was two actions and a stride. So yeah, and a stride. Yeah, I'm. Yep. Yeah, because my speed is only twenty five. Um. So you can yeah. hit uh night yep. and turn or. Yep, I was just making okay. sure I got everything. So this rustabout is gonna go ah, and he's gonna run away, um, his max distance here. So he's gonna go. Uh, he's going to run away 50 feet. Oh, double stride. I was about to say, he's moving 50 feet. Jeez. <laughs> um, and that is his turn. The other Viper is dead. It's Croc's turn. Uh, 
Um, okay, so I guess I'm gonna move 25. Uh... Throw a rock at him. You're trained in rocks. Um, going to brain stance and can I move twice? I was trying to look, I was trying to look up the rules. You can move twice, yeah. I didn't stay. You can at least move twice. Um, can you stride? How many strides in a turn? PF two E. I know you can at least move twice. I think you, you can. There is no limit to the number of stride actions you can make in a turn. Oh, never mind. You can go. Uh, well, there is a limit. It's how many actions you have. But yeah. 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 So you yeah, could so you could do three strides. Yeah. Okay, in that case, I'm going to. I'm not going to my stance and instead just go right up to this damn snake. Punch him. Well, that, that was three actions. <laughs> oh, was that three actions? Yep. Okay. Rogue's turn. All right, so how far can I go? You can go 25, I think it says. Let me check. He's got to have a, a longer stride than I do, or a longer step than me. Where Where is your movement? Oh, your I sheet? just found it. It's on. It's on. Um, it's on the primary. It's on the character. Yeah, it's yeah, on the first on button. The... Twenty-five feet. Twenty-five. Yeah. That's that seems incorrect. <laughs> I'm carrying a very very large weapon too. Yes, but like my movement speed is twenty five feet, <laughs> and her entire body is not as tall as your legs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's very lumbering. Like, <laughs> yeah, you can only go there. You, you remember you can stride multiple times in a turn if you want. Yeah, you can up to three times. You can go 75 feet if you want. But that will be all of your actions. Are you okay? Yeah. yeah, so hold that, move as far as you want, and then hit space bar and you'll actually move on that path. Yeah, that's all my actions, all I can do. All okay. Right. Yes, and that means out. you guys I... are in the way of the snake and I don't have to worry. Yeah, hooray for you. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, giant Viper's turn. Uh, the giant Viper is going to go after the uh, the bird because natural prey and uh, <laughs> fl flightless birds are its favorite. So it's going to move oh, to get no. really close there. Um, and. Oh, it could have killed that guy, and I didn't even realize that. That's okay. Um, uses increasing. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff on this thing that I did not use, but it's gonna attack Croak, and it's gonna miss. Then it's gonna attack again. Gonna miss again. Yay! It's Viper's turn to Yilandar. Lucky Viper, uh, or unlucky Viper, I guess. Um, I am going to take my stance. I have to remember how to actually apply my stance. No. Where's that? That was spell strike, wasn't it? That was the wrong button. Stance. I accept the stance, and it shall be fire. Ooh. Whoosh. Ooh. Flamey effects. All right, now. Flamio. Flamio, Hotman. Flamio. So now go ah I can stride uh to there yeah and if I hit space bar it takes me no you need to first like go you first have to place it there so you click there and then you hit space I think no? I'm just gonna drag me okay, that's fine you know where to go uh, and with my last uh, 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 the roll, just hit it with my sword. Um, Hell yeah. Which is a... Sh whoop. Oh, I got it. Wait, I am targeting him, aren't I? Target. 
The actor no longer exists. Well, I guess I have to redo my my hot keys, but okay. I'll just do it this way. Strike. Roll. Critical miss. Fantastic. Oof. You also have a hero <laughs> point if you want to use it, but uh um you know what? We're not doing a very long session, so why not? I'm going to I'm going to use my hero point and reroll that. Um is there a thing I should do or should I just do it? I think you own? can just right click on it and do reroll using hero point. Aha. Uh -huh. 15. Perfect. So, could you roll damage? I can roll damage. Oh wait, that missed. God damn it. <laughs> All right, never mind. I'll uh, I'll I'll take the damage. No, nah, it's it's fine. No, you're good. I'll take half no, the damage. No, you're fine. It's okay. You sure? Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> uh Okay, that makes it um Wow, and he was flat-footed for that. That's annoying that I missed. All I right. know that suck. That's a bummer, buddy. It is a bummer, but that's just how the dice roll, baby. Was that your turn? Oh, yeah, I got hit end turn. Sorry. Uh, well, I can hit end turn. I no, I want to do it. Okay, I'll do it's it. It's my turn. <laughs> I want to do it. All right. Um, Let me do it. Let's see. I did... I did that before. Let's do this one. Oh... Um, Loose unattended. Nah. Um. Meh. Nah. What if I do? I might just do the telekinetic rend again. Does that do friendly fire? By the telekinetic way, telekinetic projectile. I think, which is better against a single target. Yeah, but there needs to be a thing over there. Thing. You hurl a loose unattended object. That has one bulk. I mean, yeah. like sticks I mean, and rocks the and things. <laughs> there's oh, the is this my yeah, throw there's... rock check? Yeah, this yes, is this is your throw, throw rock check. Rock check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll throw I a mean, rock. I there's like the axe that that guy dropped when he died. Like, oh, fair, 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 fair. Okay, yeah, I'll um, I'll do that. I would say mouse. So select the viper as your target. You hold. Oh my T. God. You hover over it and hit T. I am targeting it. Oh, yeah, that is you. Sorry. Yeah, That's hit right. attack. E. E. Oh, oh, my team. That hit. oh, that did okay. it. Okay. And roll damage, and oh, yeah. it's going to take that damage. Nice. Suck it. Good damage. That was good damage. Okay. Um, Was that your turn, Gog? I think you still have one action uh, left. I think I do let me just read this again no specific terms matter um why did i pick a character with so many words <laughs> uh, and why am i illiterate <laughs> yeah uh yeah that was two that was cast time two um yeah i did I move? I think I moved a little closer. So no, you didn't actually move yet. Oh fuck! If you want to um, move, Jiminy Cricket, I got. <laughs> There's too many options. Um, that is. If you're just gonna move, I mean, you can end and. You yeah, can move I think I might want. just do that. Other. Okay. All of my other spell, like all anything else that would be able here is it's casting time of two. So, <clears throat> okay, so rest about's running away. Um, Viper's turn is done, so that makes it Croc's turn. Uh, why can I not? Why is not much? Punch this snake! Your wings of fury. Um. Okay. So. I am going to go into my crane stance and then I am going to go Flurry of Blows! And Flurry of Blows him. Miss with the first one, crit for the second one. Oh, <laughs> and nice. do 18 damage still. Jeez! Oh, crap. Uh, that killed him. <laughs> Tell me how you killed it. Um. Yeah, so I don't. You know, by, by default, you know, it's like not like 
killing blow, so I, I think you know, I'm just knocking it out. Yeah. Um. And uh, you know, it it was trying to to bite me, so like I I think you know as it was like biting me, I like grabbed both, um, you know, the head and and the tail. And I was just like, like not not necessarily like punching, but I was like just like rolling it around like like a jump rope <laughs> <laughs> until I passed out. <laughs> Please stop doing this! Oh my god! That is so bad. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I hate that. But we have a prisoner now. That's good. Oh, Can no, any of us talk to snakes? Wait, I thought I thought Croc is non-lethal. Oh, shit. okay. If you actually want to take it prisoner, yeah. Yeah, Eliza can talk to snakes. She she can't talk to snakes. She's not as a druid. far as I know. She can talk to snakes. Okay. I mean, if someone else wants to kill her, like, they can. But you know, like if I. <laughs> okay, snakes unconscious. We have oh captured God. an enemy. So as you get back here, you realize that. There's a little bit of like a path into these woods here. Um, if any of you want to take it, I can move you into it. Uh, yes, I would like to follow this path. I will as well. I'm just refreshing to see if I can get the target and quit soon. Okay, who's in front? Who's leading? Uh, I'll lead, sure. You'll lead? I'll lead. Could you roll a perception check for me? I like perception. Perception's a pretty good thing for me, usually. 19. Okay, so you get about this far into the woods here. Mm -hmm. uh, is anyone else heading into the woods as well? Follow. You're following as well? Yeah. Gog, are you going in? Um, I mean, I don't want to be left out. Can someone give me a ride on their shoulders so that I do not fall into a hole? <laughs> also, short, I'll let him sit on my shoulders. Oh so, my god, uh, that's Rogue... the best! A goblin riding an orc's shoulders? <laughs> yes! Sounds about right. We um, are unstoppable team! Master Blaster! <laughs> so, Yalindar, as yes. you walk through, the, uh, through this pathway, you start to realize that this seems almost manufactured, as if someone wanted you to walk this way. And you stop one second before tripping over a tripwire. Ooh. Uh -oh. That's a good perception check right there. It um, is a good perception check. Can I tell, like, what it's attached to or anything like that? Uh, You did not roll high enough on your perception check. All right. Can I step over it and warn my friends that it is there? Uh, it's actually about four, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's about four inches in the air, so you're able to step over it. Uh, you, I was waiting for you to say four feet in the air. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, Gog could have just walked under it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, watch so, your step, guys. Tripwire, tripwire. Um, yeah, could everyone else also roll perception, actually? Okay. See if on our way back, we should on. trip that so that it doesn't cause someone undue harm. 10, 11, and I don't even know. Okay, so Rug, you're yeah. able... I don't know what that first one was, but... Uh, I don't know you either. I, I mean, can't see it. So. Still, were... Oh, it's a private GM chat. I rolled the wrong one. I oh, yeah. you critted on the first one, so um, I'll let you have it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're able to see that this seems to be set up to an elaborate set of like it seems to be set next to like an elaborate thorn shooter like it would shoot out a bunch of envenomed thorns at whoever accidentally tripped over it hmm. um and you also see where to disable it but you're not sure that someone that. of your skill level could handle disabling it but you might be able to point it out to someone who's more skilled in the ways of thievery to do that if you wanted let me at them, boss. Yeah, go. <laughs> yes. This is teamwork. You are eyes. I am hands. 
<laughs> I, I, I don't know why everyone in Absalom suddenly has an Eastern European accent. I don't know. I've how to always had an Eastern know. European oh, accent. <laughs> Madam Wondergog, always just a little Slavic. Uh, do you want to roll a uh, thievery check? Hell yeah, I want to roll a thievery check. So if I get injected with poison needles. Um, oh, okay. damn! So you fail to disable it, but you don't activate it. That's good. If you want, you Ouch. can try again. Can I try? But yeah, you can try. Can I keep walking so that I'm not in the path of the poison needles when they start flying? <laughs> yeah, if you you want to keep walking forward. <laughs> just a few them. steps. Just, just, just a couple <laughs> steps to make sure I'm not in danger. Just, just being aware of his surroundings. <laughs> Uh, Croc, can you take them? a reflex check for me? <laughs> Ouch. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you do manage to turn on the trap. Um, but you do manage to just barely, <laughs> uh, barely dodge it as the needles come firing out at you. you I love that you said like... you do manage to just barely <laughs> trip the trap. <laughs> <laughs> There we are, disabled. Crocs <laughs> <laughs> just like, did it. <laughs> oh, well, I, I will disable the trap. Okay, good job. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, okay. Um, could you roll another perception check for me, Yolindar? Yeah, yeah. Twelve. Not nearly as good as my last one. Um... I'm gonna trip on something, aren't I? Give I'm gonna, me a. I'm gonna get hit second. with those two, those two logs that came flying down. You know. <laughs> uh, control is for a secret GM, right? I have no. Why are you asking me? <laughs> that was secret. Okay. That um, was secret. Uh, you thought you heard some like jabber, like some jibber jabber noises. Like, jabber heard you jibber jabber. Like, some squeaky, some squeaky like arguing noises, but they suddenly went silent. As you start to approach and you see like a clearing ahead of you. Okay. Um, so the clearing ahead of you has a. Uh, sorry, let me. There's a small clearing, no more than a winding in the path through the thick woods, containing a small pile of leaves a few feet in diameter with a thin blanket. Next to the leaves rests a small backpack emblazoned with the green patch that you have been seeing earlier, the uh, symbol of Gazra. The leaf? The stream, bur uh, the stream burbles nearby, uh, merrily. Yeah. Merrily, does it? Merrily. Would you like to approach the clearing? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Can I be sneaky about it? You sure can. Would you like to roll a uh, stealth check for me? Yeah, sure. Um, burda, 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 burda. Oh, also, I think you're technically out of your stance now, right? Oh, yeah, I can turn that off one second. We roll a stealth check. I, roll I just eight. realized I never ended the encounter, so it's not actually... Oh, yeah, it should just turn off by itself, too, I think. But I yeah. got... And stealth, nine. So, Oof. even with my plus six. Uh, um, not super well, stealthy. Me... Those are the worst ones. <laughs> they, they are. When you roll something that you're trained in and you still roll single digits, it kind of hurts. It feels <laughs> real bad. Do, do you use, like, signal or anything about, like, trying to uh, be stealthy? Yes, I'm using hand signals, though, to be stealthy, and I'm not sure if you're getting any of them. <laughs> He's actually <laughs> mouthing it, but we can't see it because of the mask. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay, so Yolindar strides forward. Um, Unstealthily. I'm actually going to start another encounter here. Um, oh, yay! <laughs> Let's roll initiative. Can I, can I also stealth him? Yeah, can they yeah, be yeah. stealth? <laughs> so actually, um, can you change your initiative type to stealth and roll it? Yep. If you're in a stealth. Uh, so um, can you do that? Yeah, you can. How do you do that? It's on your character sheet. Oh, it, initiative? It says initiative, and you change the perception to stealth. Okay. Oh. Should I... Wrong. Should That's I cool. roll a get? Like, all right. How do you want me to do this? Well, you you were they saw you. Don't worry. Okay. So do You're I just roll reg regular initiative? Okay. Yeah. Damn. 
Uh, Sorry, y'all. <laughs> so as you get closer, um, Yulindart, you see that there are some... Actually, let me move you as close as you would be here before we start the encounter. What are those? Uh, you see some demonic... Uh, not even demonic. You see some, like, imp with wing thing. Uh, some imps with wings, basically. Um, hmm. uh, if you want to take a check, you can try to identify what they are. It would sure. be arcana or nature or... I'm good with arcana. Check. Can okay. I make an occult check? Yeah, you can make an occult check. 17 on Arcana and 19 on occult. Okay, so uh, these are water methods. They're basically um, they're basically a form of elemental, and these are from the elemental plane of water. Um, and they're often summoned by uh, summoned by mages as pets to do their bidding. Um, but being from the elemental planes, they tend to be a little chaotic, and uh, mm. if not watched over, they can sort of you know, be natural pranksters and jokesters. Okay. Um, I think because I critically failed my stealth check, um, I think when Gog sees them, she just like immediately goes, oh, I love a good prank! <laughs> and like ruins it for everybody. <laughs> Why is Rogue going first? It's a thing. Yeah, so Rug's actually going before anybody if Rug wants to go. <laughs> um, okay, well... God, I rolled so bad. Get as close as the one I can. Uh, hey, sorry, holy I'm man, how you doing, buddy? I hope you're doing fine. well over there. Hope life is streaming you good. Thanks for stopping it. Alright, so that's 25. Yep. Stride. Yep. So you target them with T. It's time to rage. <laughs> you activate my rage. Do you remember how to do that? Yep, already activated. Look at that. Guess Damn. where you are? I'm I'm hoping at home, oh, relaxing, so cool. enjoying your evening. Okay. Yep, and you target. Look at that. Chilling out. So roll to strike. I click the uh, macro for it. Yeah, you need to click oh, yeah. strike on there. Yeah. Strike. And miss. Oh, oh that hammer animation was cool though. <laughs> uh, oh well. Uh, it's all good, Cookie. Again. We've all been missing today. Oh wait, no, you raged, which is another. Yeah, action. you raged. Yeah, so uh that was uh that was Rogue's turn. Yeah. Okay, so it is now which water method? So it's there's this water method and it's gonna move around here to the other side of Rogue. And flank me. Flat footed. Flank you. And it's going to attempt to strike Rug. It's oh going God. to crit Rug. <laughs> wow, you are not doing well on Chris today, my bud. Oh, yeah. And you're going to take four damage. Could you apply that I to your character? Health How much health do you have left? Well, I oh, know I have temporary health here. You have temporary well, health. So you, have you still 16. have 12 health? You've <laughs> taken 14 health. damage today and you still have 12 health? Holy if shit. I took 14 damage, I would be very dead. <laughs> Zero. Uh, Holy you're good, Cookie. Crap. You took 16 right, damage. 15. Yeah. Never mind, I'm right now at 15. Oh, you visited Jersey? You should have come you by, by holy man. yourself? Because I don't see it updated. You should have come and hang out with us. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, yeah, sorry, it just updated on my screen. Sorry. Thank you. Rose. All right. Yeah. Everyone else, okay. try how? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, sorry, I need to end my turn. Croc's turn is next. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, go up behind this thing. You just got a flank train going on here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go into my crane stance and then flurry of blows. Oops. It would help if I target. I flurry of blows the darkness. <laughs> That's so cool. Wow. Wow, you critically hit and then critically miss. I feel like he did that without fail. Yeah, I feel like he did that uh, last stream too. Yeah, he well, I he mean, just did it a little while ago. He he did oh, he roll did, at the he? start that he was going to be perfectly average <laughs> <laughs> or decently average. Okay, so uh, that New York City's cool as long as you're not driving through it. 
Uh, did you get to visit the Met? Um, I love yeah, the Yeah, would you... I guess that's your turn, so it's now Yelindar's turn. It is Yelindar's turn. Uh, Yelindar needs to cast spells and stuff, so, um... I'm gonna cast Infectious Enthusiasm, um, to hopefully give... Um, do, do spells count as attack rolls? Depends on the spell. If it says it as a uh, spell attack roll, it does. Um, Gog, your spells are spell attack rolls, right? Uh, I, Depends I, on the spell. Like your uh, telekinetic stuff? I, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna give you... Telekinetic projectile is. Telekinetic rend is technically not. Alright, well I'm gonna do infectious enthusiasm. And... Um... I don't know how to do anything with this. You can drag the spell effect onto the people you want to affect with it. So we're gonna give... Um, oh, I can't give it to Veronica. I, I can only do it to myself. Veronica has to choose oh, to do it for yeah. her. So, Veronica, to get that to work, you just drag spell effect infectious enthusiasm inside of that onto your character there. Uh, yeah. That works for charisma based skill checks, will saves, or attack rolls, which is what awesome. I was going for. Um, and that counts as mental. So, I'm going to then go into my stance. Uh, Arcane Cascade. I accept the Cascade. It is mental. And I'm all, I'm all ready for my next yeah. turn now. Oh, that was cool. It did like a shoosh. Yeah. Uh, enter. Okay, cool. Oh, why did Tim roll a dice? Oh, no. Uh, so methods have fast healing, so they automatically okay. recover health each turn. Gotcha. Thank you, Snow, for the stretch of the hydrant. Fair enough. Okay, um, I am going to throw. Oh, so well, I think it's your turn. yeah, it's it's the methods. Oh. It's the other methods oh, turn. Oh damn it! So this method is going to target rug, and it's going to launch another strike here. Jesus! Oh my god! Fantasy Jesus! It's gonna do five damage. So I have ten health. Yep. God. I hate I hate that you still have ten health. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I know you're on my team, but I'm mad. What is your um, health? Like 30 or something? Attack. Your max is 26. Jesus. I mean, if you want to know something really sad, that it, that attack, that, that crit for Andy wouldn't be a crit on me. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, um, yeah. It did another four damage. So, uh, sort of, Holy Man. This is Pathfinder 2nd yeah. Edition. You can also just click on the damage, Andy, and it will automatically allocate it. That's fair. Know. I'm okay. I and guess. last attack. It did it again. It did it again. We're going to have to stabilize our strong man. And it did three damage. Three health now. <laughs> I hate that he's still up. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that you're still up. I am. But I kind of hate it. <laughs> As a character, I'm very happy you're still alive. As yes. Player, <laughs> player knowledge versus character knowledge. Player knowledge, I hate you. Character knowledge, I love you. <laughs> okay, it is now Gog's turn. <laughs> Finally. Cool. How many tasks did I think got to do? What the fuck? I will target. <laughs> it's a water demon. Uh, No, not that one, because that one's also being targeted by... I'm going to target that one. Okay. And I will uh, do an amped telekinetic rend. So you might be out of focus points now. Where would I find that information? Uh, at the <laughs> top of your... Wait, do you automatically recover focus? I, I had, didn't even know I had that. So you can't use the so you see under your spells how you have the cantrip version the focus spell version okay the focus yeah. spell versions are amped and they use the um they're the improved ones that do more. okay um so i don't know what my focus is uh, uh sure. trips and focus you automatically you start with a focus pool of two However, unlike other spellcasters, you don't gain focus spells. You instead amp up your cantrips. 
Uh, you refill your focus pool during daily preparations, and you can use the refocus activity for 10 minutes to explore your mind. Um, so we can no say that... We, I, I'll give you one focus point back, because okay. we can say that 10 minutes were spent while you were sort of just sitting on Rogue's shoulder walking <laughs> through the woods there. That was a short rest. <laughs> there. Um... Okay. So you can use an amped. You can use another amped okay. um, focus spell if you want. Okay, I'll do that. And that is a DC okay. seventeen. Just make sure you make sure when you place that down that you don't keep put your friends in the uh, in the space. Oh, that's gonna be hard. <laughs> ah, not too much. Eh. Ah, beans. Ah, oh, beans. Okay. One. Uh, do I have to do two? Yeah. Nope. Oh, I can just do one? I mean, you could just put it in the middle of nowhere if you want. Okay, yeah. Go, go set off another trap with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, damn it. Oh. Hey, 27. Oh, I'm rolling crits all over the place today. Oh, that was not your attack. That was its fortitude. No, save. that was the spell uh, save. I was all happy about that, too. <laughs> Uh, ja. I mean, Wait, what did, I, what did that infectious? Uh, it helps with an attack roll, but you use the yeah, spell. Yeah, that, that that, and you actually that. didn't use an attack roll. You used a. Use the. Oh my god, I'm such a dumbass. <laughs> Do you, it's would good. you like to change I... that real quick? <laughs> no, I mean. I'll, no, I'll let you change it. I'll let you change it. It's not, we're learning. We're we're learning here. You can oh, change I'm those so things. Stupid. You're not we're stupid. Good. Um, let me give you back your focus point. Let me refund that to you. I got focus a point is back. <laughs> so now you can use telekinetic projectile if you want to. That's the one I wanted to do. Oh, dang it. And because the spell's on you, it should automatically apply the plus one. For it. Yep. So if you roll, if you click on that attack button on there. It did it. Yep. Okay. That was a cool shot. Uh, but that it was. did miss. It yeah. Did. Plus eight and rolled a 13. Oh my God. Uh -huh. why, why do we suck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, oh, oh my goodness! All? Sorry, I moved. Uh, no, I, I I'm fine. It. I'm fine. Right where. I <laughs> okay, am. that makes it Rogue's turn. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so um, mad. <laughs> oh my goodness! This encounter feels bad. <laughs> it feels like it shouldn't be bad, though. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it should have gone a lot better. <laughs> uh, I'm worried because this is not. Oh the my god! <laughs> oh. Would you like to reroll using a hero point? Yeah. Oh no! Uh, where do I click to do that? Uh, just wait, right click just... on the roll. Wait, wait. wait. So, do you want to do that? Like, do you want to save your hero point to save you from death, Andy? Oh yeah, Instead. that might be helpful actually. Uh, oh, save yeah, it. That's... Save it for that. But you can do the minus five if you want to roll. Again. Yeah, you you can attack again, but with a minus five. You can five. attack three times. Oh come on! Oh my god! Somehow you it's rolled okay. the same number. <laughs> uh, would you like to try again with a minus ten? Yeah. I would sure. love to see if you get a ten. No. No, you no, almost no. did. No, you no. almost rolled three tens in a row. I'm so upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cookie, okay, I'm so this sorry. Method is going to attack. Um, actually, it's going to use its breath weapon. Oh my goodness! So it's going uh... to place a 15 foot cone here. <sighs> actually, can it get both of you in its cone? I'm not sure it can. All right, it's guys. So, um, roll new characters. <laughs> <laughs> TPK on session two. two? We find the <laughs> a bad guy. Like, we found a snake. <laughs> we found a snake. Oh, I really can't uh, get both of you in this. I'm who are you aiming? I appreciate that you're trying. <laughs> <laughs> Flashback okay, to ambush in the woods. Oh god. And it's gonna do. Nope, that's that, not. Those, those aren't in this game. Attack of opportunity uh, feet. You don't attack of opportunity in this. Okay. 
Okay. Um, so could each of you in that area of effect roll a DC 17 basic reflex? Could you uh, basic click on reflex? that as part of that check there? Do you see it says DC oh, 17? Can you just click on that? Where do I... Uh, 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 where do I see that? Well, click, just click on basic reflex save. Oh, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, you can just do that if you want. Bonk. You're Suck good. It. Hey! You're double 20s! Good. Twinsies! <laughs> That's its turn. Now Croc's turn. We do like a sick synchronized flip. <laughs> <laughs> um, it would help if I stopped right clicking. Uh, I want to come up behind this one. Okay. Flat footed. And then Flurry blows it. Hit. Hang on. I'm targeting the wrong one. All right. Here now, comes a crit and a crit blows. miss. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Regular hit and a crit hit. Nice. I wish you would be slightly less predictable, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Why do you have predictable dice? <laughs> Lee, tell me how you killed this thing. Oh, God. Lee <laughs> murdered that thing. 13 and 22 damage? Holy jeez. Oh, no, it's just, just, it's just 22. 22. Oh, okay. Um, oh, the top damage is for immune to crit. That's weird, but okay. If they're wearing, like, the adamantine bro. armor or something. I hope they're not. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, yeah I, you know, I, I think, you know, I, it's focused on attacking Rug, like, so much, and so I just like, whip up behind it and, like, hit twice on, on the wings, maybe, like, puncture, like, the membranes a little bit, and then just, like, knock, knock it on the, on the head for, for the last one to, again, just knock it out, because, you know, I'm, I'm not actually killing them. I yeah. love that. <laughs> <laughs> Our non-lethal player is doing Oof. all of the kills. <laughs> You're gonna have like a small army of prisoners, and I'm very unhappy about it. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, then I guess for my other turn, um, my other action, I will. Oh, make him flat. Yes, play. thank you. Here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, so like, yeah, you know, it's all, you know, it just becomes like even more like ridic ridiculous because like it's just like a flyby. <laughs> oh my like, god! <laughs> a flyby, sure you <laughs> can. Run. You just straight run him. <laughs> hey, uh... oh. It's Yolindar's turn. Thank you for flat footing him for me. Um, I'm gonna spell strike. This is my first time doing a spell strike in this session. I think. <laughs> If um, he makes a creature flat footed and he's a bird, does that mean he's flat footed? Hey, oh, oh okay. no. all right. So we, <laughs> you get to leave the stream now. <laughs> all right. So we target this guy and we Roll do a strike. <laughs> all right. Now, the flat footedness should already be applied, right? Yep. Swing. So we got a nice, 20. All right, so because it's a spell strike, we get the damage for this as well as my fire spell attached to it. Yep. So we'll roll the damage here first, uh, which is going to be five. Yep. Uh, and then I got to actually, like, cast the fire. I don't, it doesn't actually cast, it just, there you yeah, go. Yeah, you I have just to roll do the damage. damage and then Four. Fix that damage as well. There we go. Um... And then I guess, since I'm here, I'm just going to regular strike him, too, with a minus five. Um, yeah, might as well. Swing. Miss. I missed by one. Wait, why is it I only a... I'm not supposed to tell you by that. Why is it only a plus one, though? Uh, because it's minus five. Yeah, but I'm a plus six. Doesn't flat-footed give me, like, a plus two or something to hit? Uh... This is a second strike, correct? So you're getting it's a minus. Yeah. It's actually not a plus two. It's a minus two to his armor. Oh, to his armor. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. So I can tell you his armor is fourteen. So you missed by one. His armor so is normally sixteen. 16. Gotcha. Minus two. Okay. Plus I thought it buffed my attack. I didn't think it minus their armor. It's actually which is better weird. that it weakens his armor because you yeah. can't stack 
like circumstantial bonuses. Gotcha. Like you just take the highest one. Uh, all right, that was uh, that was my three actions because my spell strike is two. Awesome. So we will now move to Gog. It's my turn. Um, do I? I still have the infectious enthusiasm. Uh, nah. If you look in the top right, it should say expired on it. It doesn't. Oh, it should be. It only lasts for one turn. <laughs> uh, it does. If you at the top right, Veronica, it says. Next to the chat bar. Spell effect, Oops. infectious enthusiasm, oh it expired on it. Huh. Okay. Right, if you want, you can right click to remove it. Yeah. Just because it's not there anymore. It's, we're good. But yeah, it is. Unfortunately, okay. no longer there. Yeah, it won't automatically be in your rolls anymore, though. Yeah, that's why I'm like, it's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm still targeting that method. Mm. So I will. So I only need to use focus for the amp spells, correct? Yep. For the okay, amp, sorry cool. for the amped focus spells. Right. So under occult like, focus spells, the focus spells under there cost amps. The cantrips do not. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure. Um, then I will telekinetic projectile. Okay. Okay. My um. The infectious enthusiasm just went away it wasn't going away it's gone now. <laughs> um i'm gonna throw a rock do it okay Get so him. target him and then click on attack I, oh wait, he's he's targeted on mine what's going on uh, uh I, the the other one is on the wrong yeah there we go. now you're targeted on him you see the little the little pink circle above him now that's no, that's your I target know. 18. Roll damage. Eight. He dead. Uh, Gog, tell me how you kill him. Um, I think Gog sends uh, a particularly <laughs> shiny looking like shale or something. Like a, a piece of rock you, that's me. like over here. And she's just like, oh, excellent. And like throws it using her mind powers um Gives it and chonks it right on her head right on right on the head <laughs> um, and, and it's that going one to goes go collect down that dead piece. okay cool there we go and that is the end of the oh. encounter oh boy <laughs> um, um so you do have a unconscious prisoner? Uh, method now I can make him un I can make him not dead do do we know enough about like do methods have intelligence and like the ability to reason and stuff uh they're not very smart but I mean they're they're able to talk and okay so we can interrogate him yeah I have a relation um before we do anything though yeah. Um, might I recommend a bio break? Bio break? I think that's a good idea. I need quick, to get water. Quick five minute bio break real fast. Yeah, yeah stretch and hydrate know. as, uh, who was it that, that death? MP oh, and snow. Oh, Everyone's yeah. giving me stretches and hydrates. <laughs> How uh, are we go, playing today? Uh, uh, that was going to be my next question. Uh, cause um, I know. I was going to say till 10, if that's okay. Unless you oh, guys okay. want to yeah, start. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that's actually like the normal time we kind of shoot for, so. Yeah, we always end up at 11, though. So, that, yeah, let's take, true. like, a five, five, ten minute break, then. All right, chat, you heard that bio break. Go pee. Be right back. Where's my unstretch option? We don't have one of those. Be right back. <laughs>
I'm back. If you guys miss me. Hi. I want Jabber looking like one of those stretchy wrestler action figures from the early 90s. I don't want to look like that. Please no. <laughs> Maximum overstretch. <laughs> Please no. Please no. <laughs> uh, hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Enjoying Pathfinder. I've been having quite a good time with it. Um, it's a good game. It's good. Still getting used to everything. Uh, Sheldrake. Holy crap. We never get to see Sheldrake. How you doing, Shell? Sup, fam? Ah, I'm living life, my guy. I hope you're doing fantastic over there. Let me give Shell a shout out. Much love. How we doing, Shell? What is what is going on? We're we're in a we're in a little break time right now, waiting for the crew to come back. We're playing some Pathfinder 2E. Trying to find a copy of the Avatar Legends TTRPG before Friday. I have uh uh, I have an online copy of that. Um, I returned. Welcome back, Tasty Cookies. Um, that RPG is pretty cool. I like a lot of it, but I'm not a big fan of the combat in it. We actually ran one stream of it um, once uh, with Souls and uh, Zai and Snow and Putty. Uh, I'm good bro, thanks for asking. Just chilling and, and playing some Eve and saw I had an alert tell me you were online. Maybe two hours ago. Hey, that doesn't matter to me. As long as you're here, that's what's ma that's what really matters. Having you here is the best part, Shell. It's always amazing to see you. One of one of my oldest stream friends. Right, I can turn that off because that is expired. Uh, we're just waiting for the bio break to finish. I think everyone's back, but Nopey Winston, so. A little bit longer. Um, yeah, what else is uh, what else is going on, Shell? I'd love to I'd love to catch a Shell stream one day. <laughs> Isn't Eve the game that's always making news due to some stupid shit the player base is pulling off? <laughs> yeah, but sure is. <laughs> uh, too good. Another rat. Another mouse. It's right there. I run a wormhole corporation with another YouTuber. Karma Karma I think I saw recently someone made a hostile takeover of a company, took all the assets and dipped. That's right, Shell, you have a YouTube. I don't think I ever what is your cause you're not under Shell Drake for that, right? What is your YouTube under? I don't think you can share a link. Um um oh god, can you send me a link? In the in Discord or something, I would love to follow you. Show a little extra support. We got everybody back. Seems so. Yeah, I think so. All right, GM, take it away. Okay. Um. So you've taken this. Me so this method is currently unconscious. Are you going to do anything to try and keep it? So it's currently unconscious, but when it wakes up, it'll probably try to fly away unless you somehow restrain it. Oh, um, should we tie it up? <laughs> whatever you want to do. Is it is it so it's like a, a relative of a water elemental. It can't like turn into water or something, can it? Um, no. All right. So, yeah, I guess we tie it up. I, I will use my rope if you guys want. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so you managed to tie right. it up successfully hey. using your rope. Um, and when it comes to, you can uh, you can um, talk to it. But uh, as you sort of look around this clearing here, you find a backpack. Um, okay. And, I mean, so it's the backpack you spotted earlier. <laughs> if you want to try and, I mean, do you want to look into it or... I think uh, Gog immediately goes to the backpack and starts rifling. So Gog <laughs> is immediately in the backpack. So you find some like wet physically river... in the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so you find so Gog first pulls out these two giant wet river rocks. Are they shiny? To... No, they're not. Str they're just wet rocks over the like shoulder. You... <laughs> over the shoulder. Um, Gog then finds a highly detailed map of Aberton. 
uh, which is the town you're currently camped outside of, um, and the surrounding environment. Um, there's also like notes written in. Um, uh, uh, there's also notes written in Elvish. Ooh, I know yeah, Elvish. Over the shoulder. Oh. <laughs> over the shoulder. Um. Oh, okay, so you, you didn't look in that in any detail. Um, That's someone else's problem. <laughs> and uh, I can read Goblin, which is you know not great. <laughs> you find a shiny feather token. I was about to say people can write immediately goblin? in 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 the uh, mouth. <laughs> Okay, let me uh, let me put that item in your uh, inventory. <laughs> Roll a reflex check for being a child and swallowing small <laughs> objects. <laughs> uh, it it just goes in mouth for safekeeping, very secure. <laughs> okay, so just nobody sneak up on me, okay? Um, so I just put that in your. So it's a feather token. Okay. Um. So I just put that in your inventory, but you can actually turn it into a living holly bush. You realize. Um, you also find handfuls of tasty nuts in there. <laughs> Over the shoulder. <laughs> Over the shoulder. Um, okay, so who's looking at the map? <laughs> <laughs> Would someone please look at the map? No one needs to look at the map, but like, if you want to, you can. I'm actually surprised oh. that uh, uh, Lee's not going for the map. Last adventure, you were all over maps. Um... That's the last adventure, buddy. <laughs> this is a new new character, new lead. <laughs> this is a whole new adventure that he's going to go on on his own. <laughs> um, yeah, no, um, I mean, I'd probably go for the notes instead of the map, honestly. Yeah, so they're scribbled notes, and they're mostly just pointing out what things are. Um, but on the back, you notice that there's an incredibly detailed uh, map of the exact area you're in right now, the circus camp. And it seems to have very accurate mo movements on like the schedules of the different circus members, like where they go every day. Like you see your schedule, like you go to practice every day and like, you know, you and Dar has no life. schedule. Yeah, so like it has a, but it has like pretty good estimations of where everyone will be. So during someone's the week. been casing the joint. Yeah, but on the other side, there's like little notes with uh, a couple different locations uh, marked on it, including Odlin's Orchard the, and the Hofton Mill. How are they marked? Like they're just. Like they just are there. written in, they're just written in. Uh, written in elvish it says uh hofton mill and odlin's orchard on the other side of the aberton map mm. but on the uh, but on the side with the circus on it it has like you know notes of where certain people will be and everything mm, suspicious um also on the backpack as i was as i was saying earlier the mark of gazra is etched into the uh, backpack the same leaf the same leaf. I would like to take the backpack, but like leave all the stuff. Like Gog can have the stuff. I just want the backpack. Okay, sure. Gog is in the backpack. <laughs> oh, I am now carrying Gog. <laughs> uh, I I that just only weighs like twenty five pounds. I I have three different right. objects with the same leaf on them now, <laughs> and it is confusing to me. <laughs> okay. Um, so, the, uh, Mephit starts to sort of wake up, um, and it's right next to Rug, and it sort of, it, it starts to panic, and you can see it starts trying to move its wings, but can't, and sort of starts, like, trying to crawl towards the river. Hey, Rug, grab him. I was thinking I'm gonna slam my foot down right in front of him, stare at him, and go, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Please, please, Master Orc, do not hurt me. I don't think he heard you. He was talking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, he was basically begging for you not to hurt him. <laughs> I was also mentioning I'm just going to keep all the cuts they did to me. You know, to show I am really oh. pissed at you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look what you did to 
Look what you've done to my boy's handsome face. <laughs> well, old Jeff do like scars, so. <laughs> He's so thankful. <laughs> Please let me go. I just want to go to the river. What do you want from me? Who sent you? Who's your employer? The halfling. The halfling sent me. Of course it was a halfling. <laughs> Wait, what What halfling? What's his name? I don't know her name. She summoned us and, well, she wanted us to do horrible things to the circus people. No but problem, we just wanted to play pranks on them. Horrible? Like what? Like what kind of horrible thing? Probably well, killing people. She kept going on about saving the wilderness. And thought that a good place to start was with you, the circus. Well, we don't hurt the wilderness. We just chop down trees. When we need them. She wasn't very happy about that. Hmm. Huh. She's still in your camp. She's still there. She's watching, still in the camp. Waiting to strike. There's a halfling eco-terrorist in our camp? <laughs> We're never going to find her. <laughs> Why not? How many please halflings are in go. our camp? Please let me You're go. so small. It would take him with us, and he'll show us who he's talking yeah. about. We can, we can let you go if you point out the halfling to no. us. No, no, she'll kill me. But what do you oh, think? and I won't? Please well, you'll don't do it hurt less me. painfully, I think. <laughs> You can I... just squish. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll I will point her out. I don't know where she went, but she never came back to the camp. She wouldn't leave her things here. Then yeah. whose bag is this? Well, I think he means he wouldn't leave her things here without like like she would still be nearby. Oh. Fair enough. Okay. All right, Acceptable. Let's... Let's go find her then. Let's go. Can I grab some um Can I grab some river water or those those two rocks that had the river water on them and like give them to the method just so that they're not like because they need to be near the water. I mean, he's currently tied up. Okay. But I mean, you could throw some water on him if you want. I just like I I don't want to be like a bad guy. No, no, that's fair. Um, you put some water on him, and you can actually see his wounds are starting to heal. Okay. When you do that, thank you, mistress. Of course. I don't know. I just went to Brooklyn there. You went to of Brooklyn. Of course. <laughs> By the way, what is your name, Method? What? Your name? What do we call you? I can't stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know what their name is. Uh, <laughs> Miffy. Miffy. <laughs> uh, uh, my name is T my name is Typhos. Typhos. Oh, okay, my friends Typhos, call you... me Tiffy. 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 All right, Tiffy. Tiffy. You're gonna help us hunt down a halfling. If you say so. We just, it's, listen, we're not a bad guy. We just, we, I want to be friends. I love your pranks. We did not get to see any good <laughs> pranks from you. We only got to see bad ones. I would like to see at least one time someone slip on a banana. No, oh, we're more making people slip on water. <laughs> That's acceptable! As long as you do not target Madame Wondergog, huh? Uh, but goblins are the most fun prey. Oh, I know. We're very small. <laughs> we make fun of noises. <laughs> uh, I saw but the I mistress. Will... I saw the mistress trying to annoy the bear earlier. The bear? Perhaps oh, we have a bear! There. I forgot about the bear. 
Did you see her also annoying a snake? Not as big as a big snake, but still a pretty big snake. Well, she's been taming was... snakes throughout the region. It was her. Has she I also been giving... saw her watching people from the quarry, but she stopped doing that after something scared her there. Yo, wait, where the fuck is the quarry? It's uh, 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 to the right of you. Andy okay. was sniffing it earlier, so... Who was? Andy. Tasty cookies. Mm -hmm. Rug. Remember, uh, failing forward, he was he was smelling something from. Oh, the, that's what he was smelling. Gotcha. Uh, from the quarry. All right. Well, we we should probably rush back before this halfling causes more havoc and kills more of our people. We should also probably uh, check on that snake that we unconscious. I tied him or... up too. <laughs> it's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> We use the no, literally, I, I I tied him into a knot. Like, <laughs> um, I mean, I I'm more concerned about our our orc buddy. Oh yeah, he's pretty wounded. <laughs> He'll be fine. Just rub some dirt on him. <laughs> <laughs> he's might be good scores for my performance, actually. <laughs> <laughs> And he's into it. <laughs> he loves it. I am called an old scarred orc. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I mean, Croc would like, point to his, you know, his, you know, belt and ask, like, would you like me to try and help you with, with this? Do yep. you accept healing? Very well. <laughs> We're gonna make it quick now. <laughs> uh, so where did that go to? Um, what? That's getting rolled. Can you just what were what was the the halfling is trying to protect the wild, the wilderness, the wood? Like, what was the wording that you used? He said the 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 wilderness. The wilderness. So, no effect. No effect. Oh. All right. Oh, bummer. <laughs> now that the orc is not healed? Nope. Ah, let's get going. Let's let's go find this uh this halfling and maybe make them a quarterling. <laughs> so where are you going? Back to back camp. To camp. Yeah. Just back to camp. Yeah, we don't know exactly where she is, so Yeah, I think yeah, just, just sort of run back. You all over there. Yeah, we need the we're going to use the method to hopefully find her. <laughs> Thank you guys for um, all the contributions. He's still, tied? Uh, he's still tied. He's a flight risk. Nice. <laughs> um, okay, so what are you asking him for? Uh, to help us find the 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 halfling, oh, point them out. So he was giving you some suggestions earlier. He said maybe check by the quarry or go to the or go to the bear cage. Yeah, so well, we should check out the bear cage. Yeah, because he said he also said that the. Uh, the quarry scared her off, so something at the quarry scared her off. Where's the bear cage? The bear I'll cage is all the way back all where we were there. before. Um, oh, it's would... all the way in the beginning spot? Alright, let's yeah. go. Oh, there's sorry, actually sorry. a bear! Uh, on our way back through, I want to drop our snake off to Elysia. A good That's idea. The only person Here... who actually has experience with snakes. <laughs> Here wow, is a snake. Is a big one. I'll call you Mr. Snuggles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. This seems yes, like a bad please. idea. <laughs> no, fighting this bear is going to be the bad idea. Oh, yeah. I don't want to fight the bear. Um, <laughs> Mina with the honk! <laughs> so, um, Bardolf has been resting for the last week after suffering a uh, foot injury in the last town you were in. So he's sort of just been in this cage for a little bit now. Hmm. Um, but uh, something doesn't seem quite right with Bardolf. He uh, seems to be uh, uh, he seems to be pacing back and forth in his cage, like worried. Um. All right, none of us are good with animals, so can we try to try Do to? Do I still calm? have the cape? Yeah, you do still have the cape. I want to, um, I want to approach with the cape, 
Like, I don't want to, like, put it on because I'm very small and I would just disappear in it. But so, I want to, like, approach Cape yeah. and be like, Hey, Bardolf, buddy friend. Bloody I'm very hard. Friend. So, as you approach with the cape, Bardolf comes nearby. Mm -hmm. And initially, you can see that he recognizes the smell. And he looks at you, but then he sees you are not Fortunato. Yeah. And rage enters his eyes, and he just starts oh. clawing at the uh, clawing at the side of the cage. No, 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 friend, no friend. Trying. I, I, I was the friend of Fortunato. You can uh, you can try to do a nature check if you want. Oh boy. <laughs> You're gonna say a persuasion check for a second. <laughs> a persuasion check. <laughs> Uh, excuse me. Uh, that does not work. And Souls, thank you so much. The cage here. Oh no. Um, can I? Can I? I have a spell called musical accompaniment. Can I <laughs> try yeah, to I soothe the say. savage beast with music? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we, just, we, we, cast, we cast the, the music. Why does it have like an attack? <laughs> <for it>? uh, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> seems weird, but all right. Oh, it gives you a plus one to performance checks. That's really good. Oh, that's that. Yeah. You could use that during uh during performances if you want. That's why um, I took it. You can music doesn't create. <laughs> Thank you, cruel. <laughs> what are we up to now? We're up to sixty three percent. Nineteen days. So um, you get a plus one to your nature checks. All right, so I'm going to try to soothe the savage beast with music and plus one to my nature check. Um, which makes my nature... What the hell is nature? One. One. All right. What could... Po I was, uh, so I was I already ready to say zero. <laughs> so I add that. All right. Uh, well, it is now one. <laughs> um, all right. Soothe the bear. Oh, damn it. This is the same okay, exact... So, well. so the bear hearing the music... Um, then immediately starts, like, clawing at the cage towards you. Um, but after about, like, ten seconds of, like, just trying to get at you guys, you can see something shifts in its eyes, and it calms down. Hmm. And instead just goes back to sleep in its cage. What song did I play? Metallica. Should have worked. I don't know what happened. Um, but yeah, a, a, before it goes to bed, you can see that it's now recognizing you as fellow circus members. Like, whereas before it seemed truly enraged. Like, it seemed to have broken off its own. Um, has it, has it, it's almost like a spell was cast on it. Has he ever done that before? No, he's always okay. been incredibly friendly. So he's like so, the mascot of the circus. Oh, can I detect magic? You sure can. Bitchin. I knew being a seer elf was a good thing. Uh, cast! You can tell that a charm animal spell was casted on this, um, on this bear, and it seems to have actually just broken free of it. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, um, it took so damn long with the other two encounters. Yeah. <laughs> Tricky, could you roll a survival check for me? Sure! Because I no. think you have the highest survival check. No I sign of a half. Let me just find my skills. Why is it taking me an age? Um, it's the one that looks like the hand. The hand. Oh, no, no. Damn it. <laughs> So you don't really find anything from this bear cage, um, but Cookie does notice that there are a set of tracks that seem to lead somewhere in the southeast. But the uh, but the uh, rats have really managed to like mess up these tracks at this point. Mm. So it's really hard to follow what's going on, despite Cookie's tracking skill. 
Um, and real quick, uh, there was no other magic going on in that radius. There was no other magic, okay. but you're pretty sure at this point you're you're dealing with some form of halfling druid. Hmm. You said it's going southeast? Yeah, back towards the camp. All right, Mephit, we really need you to help us find this halfling. Or Tiffy. Tiffy! <laughs> um... Okay, let me get these two things real quick. Actually, Tiffy, if we untie Tiffy, will you run away? Yes. Of course not. Of course not. It's very tricky. You guys, do you guys we believe it, though? Can we... <gasps> can we... Can, uh, Rug, can you, like, intimidate and be like, if you don't come back, we will find you kind of a thing? Okay, yeah. Like, I'm hoping with his wings, he can get up in the air and maybe spot something for us. All right. If you don't come back, we'll find you next time. You won't have those wings anymore. Are we clear? <laughs> could you roll an intimidate check for me? There you go. <laughs> yes! yes! Of course. Of course. I would never disobey my masters. Survival check. Oh, my God. <laughs> so he flies up in the air. Fly, and then Tiffy, he fly! He comes back and he says, Um, the other circus members are doing a Congo line in the middle of town. I mean, in the middle of the fire area. We're missing Conga Knight! <laughs> Nuts. My uh, favorite! Yeah, yeah let, <laughs> I want to let's go join Conga Knight! Um, can I? I want to do a dumb. Yeah. Can I the only use thing this group does. again? I took really <laughs> stupid spells. Yeah. I want to give the cloak, Fortunata's cloak, to Bardolph using thoughtful gift. Okay. You teleport one object of light or negligible bulk held in your hand to the target. The yeah. object appears instantly in the target's hand if they have a free hand or at their feet if they don't. Um, the target knows what object you're attempting to send them. If the target is unconscious or refuses to accept your gift, or if the spell would teleport a creature, the spell fails. So I literally just want to like teleport the yeah. So, the, so that you I you don't have... you could you put the cape onto Bardolph using your teleportation spell, and Bardolph yes. seems to really it's it, it's you know it's it's just a bear but you can tell that it's really touched like it loves this no. cloak and it sort that's, of wraps up in it and is just very happy to be in it that's adorable and i love it that is why i do what i give, do give yourself a hero point for that that's what yes. heroes do that's what real heroes do <laughs> use me <laughs> um do remember to use your hero points before the end of the session though because they do all disappear oh beans Oh, I don't. I don't you know, it's your, it doesn't matter. What? You're low on health. We're saving yours so that you don't die. <laughs> uh, I mean, let's... he's also incredibly difficult to kill. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> you you said that, but he's at three health now. Yeah. Well, if he die, if he goes down to zero health, he just goes back up to one health and keeps. Oh yeah, I get right back up. Incredible. I got. Um, are you all? Are you all going to the middle of town? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got to go help with the conga line. Um, are you jumping over the rocks, or are you going over the? I'm jumping over again. You're jumping over. Could you roll a uh, athletics oh, check dude. for me? Athletics or acrobatics? Is... Uh, depends on where you're going. If you're going over the rocks, it's acrobatics. Melinda, am I still in the, the backpack? Uh, no, you got out of the backpack to give the bear this okay. stuff, remember? That's fair enough. Is there an enemy over there? Uh, so... Uh, once you jump over, you can see. I'm gonna do another sick flip. Rug jumps over. I'm um, jumping. Alright, we jump. 16. Uh, Rogue also jumps over successfully. Oh, but I lost my. He said it's at athletics or acrobatics? Athletics if you're jumping over from here. Acrobatics if you're taking the long way around. Uh, Basically, you'll just lose out on one round here if you. I rolled a 25. Okay, so Gog 14. goes down here, and Yelindar manages to barely make the jump. Oh, thank goodness. 
Uh, okay. Please let me get to other side. Okay, so you're gonna lose. Oh yeah, sorry. I'll I'll move you over. Okay. Um, okay, so you're gonna have one round without Gog here as Gog makes uh, her way over. But um, so have you tried master? The sound of pipes, <laughs> fiddles, and horns echoes across the camp from the meeting fire, where members of the Circus of Wayward Wonders have been waiting for a proclamation that it is safe for them to return to their wagons. But now everyone has formed two concentric lines with the musicians on the inside, and everyone else is dancing on the outside. Their energetic prancing seems incongruous. Uh, inc oh my god, incongruous. Hey, Ugrisen, man. Thanks for stopping in. With the weariness on you. their faces. Help us! The professor pants, sweat pouring down his frail face as his limbs jerk in time to the lively jig. So you see two tiny creatures with the top halves of elves and the bottom halves of crickets sort of dancing ah! in the middle of Ooh, these well, lines, like playing it. music don't... with their legs. I hate crickets. I hate them too. And elf crickets are even worse. <laughs> They're like two of my least favorite things, Tim. Hey. <laughs> Me oh as a person hates them. <laughs> so it's like they're using their musical legs to control our friends. And to keep them dancing. Can I overpower their song with bullhorn? You sure can. Yes. I'm going to just scream at these crickets at the top of my lungs. Stop that, you fuckers! Could you roll a intimidation? Actually, roll. How are you? So you're saying stop that, you? Okay. You're, you're um. It. All right. Uh. Yeah. So something. Uh, something more. Something. Get away from my friends, or you cricket bastards! Because I hate crickets. So okay. Could you roll an Kristen intimidation? Kristen, I have been check triggered. <laughs> with a with a uh, but give yourself like a plus five bonus to it because plus five nice yeah this is the big bonus here uh also i'm actually pretty good at intimidation so are plus you? I'll, yeah i got a plus six on it base so well you're really lucky you had that plus wow <laughs> yeah i am i had a plus 11 on that what the hell <laughs> okay you the music immediately stick. stops and the uh, little cricket things come bouncing towards you as everyone sort of collapse on the ground. Oh, I hate and, how they move. Uh, they they sort of do little bounces. No, get away from and me. And right as Gog gets there, they sort of jump around you and they're like, We're sorry. We're sorry. We're your biggest fans. We've been following you for a couple towns now and we just wanted to spend some time with our favorite circus. Kill it with fire! <laughs> You're going to kill them? No, I should probably listen, shouldn't I? I really don't want to, though. <laughs> Yulandar has a mask on, and it is a mask of fear. creeped out fear. Okay. Um, so they've been intimidated. They're going to say, we're very sorry. We'll avoid you in the future. And they jump away in their crickety ways. I hate how they jump. Uh... I didn't ask how big the room is. I said cast fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, MP. <laughs> it's right on top of you. I said cast fireball. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was a weird little side thing that happened. I have the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> did, did they have like a smell about them? No. Okay. Uh, Are our friends safe? If anyone safe? wants to roll an Arcana or a nature check, they can to figure out what they were, or you can just I be like, "I want to know more Screw about." That. I want to know more about them. Okay. Uh, Yulhindar just will not work here, but uh. What about society? No, definitely not. No. So All nature. Right. Nature about, or Arcana. How about a twenty-three Arcana. Oh, I'll roll Arcana. Okay. okay. So um. Yulindar has the highest score here. So Yulindar also gets a bonus for being an elf for identifying Not these things. Oh, these yeah. are fey creatures called Griggs. They're like half cricket, half fairy. Uh -huh. um, uh, what else do you need to know about Griggs? Um, are they something that we would normally run into? 
Yeah, I mean, they're just like fey creatures. They're kindly, they're the kindly musicians of the fey, often getting themselves into trouble due to their penchant for confronting evil well beyond their ability to vanquish. Even so, they fight bravely and with great cunning, using their magic and ranged sonic attacks while flying and leaping and using their wings and powerful cricket-like lower torsos to stay out of reach. I hate that they're good lady. guys. <laughs> <laughs> they're elusive and flighty, and many... Uh, and exactly what most villagers imagine when they hear the term fey or fairy. Um, though they are normally related, I mean, although they are normally uh, like trickster pixies, all sprites share a connection to magic um, and will use it to fight evil when possible. So, yeah. It's like a common fey. Okay. Now, the real question is are our friends okay? Yeah, so so the professor, everyone's okay. The Congo line has stopped. Um, Can't believe we missed Congo night. <laughs> I mean, if I you if you fail, I don't think this was meant to be Congo night. If you get if you get within uh, ten feet of them, you have to take a will check, and you join the Congo line if you fail. So you, so you could have joined the Congo line. <laughs> I, 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 let's roll it back. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We Did you just the Congo say line. I throw it back? <laughs> I said, let's roll it back. Roll it back. I heard, let's throw it back, and I immediately imagined a crow twerking. <laughs> um, okay, so do you guys want to rest by the fire for a bit, or do you want to keep investigating? Or, uh, Well, I think our one friend probably needs a little bit of a rest. Okay, so Rogue, um, you're going to get... Could you roll your hit dice and recover that many hit points? And where are his Oh, you have a D12 hit dice. Just roll a D12. Jesus. And I, I'd also like to ask our friends if they've seen a halfling about. And, yeah, wow. a little bit more information. I got a one. So the healing we're, we're potion didn't so work. <laughs> the healing oh, potion oh didn't gosh, work. Gosh, your luck is crap today. Oh, oh man. Hit, hit dice point, don't man. work. Okay, so... As you're um, as you're all sort of like resting here, did anyone else take damage, or is everyone else okay? I think everyone I'm else good. is okay. Yeah, I'm only one that's taking damage, and they complain at me. <laughs> Who's complaining? We're not complaining. I mean, we're kind of complaining. I'm okay. complaining that he's so, so good at taking damage. Yeah, now that everybody's like so tired and like worn out and everything, um, something doesn't quite feel right. And suddenly, all of the rats sort of start to like converge on your, uh, start to converge into a single location. Um, Rat King. near the near the Kambali wagons to the southeast of here. Um, the rustling of wheat leaves can be heard as hundreds of red-eyed rats scurry about the foliage. The rats surround a halfling woman wearing a headdress in the shape of a rat's head, its mouth open, framing her face. And oh, let me just we found her. Yeah, that and does she not comes, seem very good for the She rats. comes walking out of the uh, out of the Kambali wagon here. Isn't this a pretty sight? She cackles, twisting her grip on a gnarled staff. I had hoped to murder more of you while the whole town was watching. That would have frightened them away from here for good. But a bigger slaughter might be even better. The foolish farmers and poisoners of Aberton will discover your rat-chewed corpses. No one will ever know how it happened, but everyone will whisper that nature is finally taking its revenge. And it is through me. I will wager most of the town will be gone in a week and the rest will fall easily. Then perhaps the land can finally heal from the cancer known as Aberton. Who are you? <laughs> um... So let me get her. How did the cricket people not go past her? Uh, they sort of did. Okay. I mean, they did, but she was in the wagon when all that happened. Oh, she was in the wagon. She, the she just walked she out the of the wagon? Kambali wagon. Is that one of the aerial? One of the what? The aerialists. Uh, no. That's the aerialist wagons, but the air, but okay. the, they've been near the fire all day. Right. So, I was just trying to figure out whose wagon that was. Yeah. yeah. Huh. 
Um, could oh. everyone add themselves to the initiative counter? Yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, let me switch this back to perception. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful, Jabber. Uh... Buddy. <laughs> you just keep getting bumped down. Hey, I was on the encounter list. I just watched my name go all the way to the bottom. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Is there such thing as like a critical success on initiative? Yeah. Oh, cool. We, we so wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, never mind. Yeah, so did the rats. Yeah. I think it automatically sends you to the top, but the rats got it higher than yeah. everybody. So. Um, okay, so I guess the rat swarm is going to go first here. Um, I can't even see half of the stuff over here. Oh, can you not see everything? Oh, yeah, there's shadows cast by the Mordane's wagon and stuff. Oh, God, that's a huge swarm of rats. <laughs> All right. Would it be better if it was the huge swarm of crickets? It would be a hundred percent worse. Okay, and that's their turn. They just moved forward for their turn. It is now Crocs. God, why did you say a swarm of crickets? I can feel it. We'll get to the swarm of crickets. Please no. Absolutely not. Uh. Disabled. Like, bugs don't bother me, but things with legs like that really do. Crickets, grasshoppers, all of those things, they just, for whatever reason, they always freak me out. You want me to send you the big picture of the one? Please, no. <laughs> so you can see what these things please, look like. Please, no. <laughs> uh, okay, I am going to go punch a swamp. <laughs> Oh god, I No guess. you're not. Yeah, no. You, no you're not, apparently. I just have this image of you punching just two rats. <laughs> non lethally. <laughs> there are now two unconscious we're taking him captive, by the way. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, it makes it Gog's turn. Yeah, it does. I got sidetracked looking at the the Grig. Um, oh, also, give yourself your focus points back, because you did just rest. Oh, thank you. Much obliged. I will not look at the Grig. I refuse. Okay, cool. Oh, you will I'm... not look at the Cricket, then. Uh, Sorry, see, go ahead. The issue is it's so hard for me to see anything. Okay, I'm going to... Please work. Thank you. Target. Oh, and I'm going to... Cool, it's not, it's not really a fear, uh, it's more just projectile. a skeeviness. And Did yes, it is a real thing, not the rat just my character. Do you have to hit attack? Yep. Uh, it's something about running. the legs and how they jump. It right, really skeeves me out. Okay, that does hit. Uh, could you roll damage? Damage... Six. Okay, the rat swarm takes six damage. Uh, so that's two... It's like six rats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is two approximate dancing lights. Um, I'm just reading through all my stuff again. Uh, nope. Uh, that's going to be it for me. It's very got you. <laughs> oh, did you get it for me? Yeah, yeah I, j I took care Thanks. of it. Uh, okay, so uh, Nemi is going to so move. so much open. <laughs> Sorry, I should know. Uh, the halfling is going to move forward. Um, her, uh, her movement. And she is going to... Actually, wait, no, she has reach spell. She doesn't need to do that. She can fire. I should have... Oh, there she is. I couldn't see her before. I should have hit um, her. What is she going to do? What does this spell do? <laughs> what does this one do? Um, let me roll a d4 here. <laughs> Who is this targeting? <laughs> yeah. 
Did I be number three? That's going to be oh. you, Chris. Oh, okay. <laughs> three is my lucky number, but okay, I'll, I'll be one. Sure. <laughs> Thanks for volunteering. Yeah, yeah. really. <laughs> so she's going to cast Goblin Pox. Can you take that Fortitude check for me? Got one. Well, now we know where that came from. Fortitude <laughs> check. Uh, it did not come from me. Stop being racist. <laughs> 16. Okay, so oh, I guess I was supposed going... to click something, wasn't I? Okay, but uh, that's okay. So you are n you now have goblin pox at stage oh. one. I have depression. No <laughs> goblin pox. Oh, well, it, it made the Much snake depressed. The... I'm not so yeah, sure. So you, <laughs> you are now not second. feeling well. Yeah, and then Is status penalty equal to the value. I think on that's checks and DCs. You can't willingly yeah. ingest anything, including elixirs and potions. So in a single action retching in an attempt to recover, which lets you immediately attempt a fortitude save. I can just and, I can just uh, go and throw up to turn. try and get rid of it. Okay. Um, the giant rat is going to move its distance forward. So it can only move. So it's going to move full 60 feet and try to block the path here so people can't mm -hmm. get through. Okay. Uh, that makes it Rogue's turn. Mm -hmm. All right. Um... I know pretty much it's time to rage and have like my uh, blood spewing on my scars. Ew. Charge after the giant um rat here. Okay. Except Get him. Get him. I know. All right, yeah, come on. You got to hit at least once, right? There you go. Did I do it, Tim? How he's been doing. Uh, yep, you hit. Yay! Roll damage. 15! Holy nice! Moly. How did do you smash the rat? Uh, tell me how you killed the gigantic rat. After I pretty much threw the whole entire flux, I just do, do a giant leap, then slam down the giant rat. Yeah, that's a dead rat. <laughs> that's a dead rat! <laughs> That that was not a non-lethal attack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Are you done your turn? Yeah, that's me. And with that, we go to Yalindar. Yay! It's it's a me. Um, the first thing I want to try is, I guess, to get rid of this sickness by throwing up. Nice one. <laughs> so. Fortitude check. Go for no, okay, that didn't work. Um Alright, well, screw that. I'm sick. Um next I'm going to cast Flashy Disappearance. Ooh. Uh which lets me go invisible for a second. I become undetected. Um I can stride. Um ah. Ah. I want to go like over here and I get a bonus to hiding. So, whoop! Um, and a plus two status bonus to this stealth check. Um, if I have cover, does this all, I guess, is that part of flashy you disappearance? You have total cover right now because they can't see you. Okay. So you can actually give yourself the hidden condition if you want. I would like to do that, yes. So, do I just click on it? Oh, do I, dra I can drag it. Yeah, you can drag hidden onto yourself. I am now hidden. Cool. And while hidden, I want to uh, Arcane Cascade so that I could take up my stance, which is Illusion, which I think Illusion gives... Oh, it should tell me. Mental. Well, and save. So I'm, I am prepared to go screaming over there and attacking. Uh, that's me. Good turn. stuff. The music stuff. Okay. I gotta start that up again. Um, so that makes it the rat swarm's turn. So the rat swarm is going to target the uh, bird in front of it. Bob. Um, and what are all these things do? It's got a carrier of disease. 
Okay, I guess it's gonna try and bite the uh, bite the bird man. Tango. Um. So, Thank you very much. Actually, sorry. So Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. I'm yeah, so sorry. Yeah, so it's gonna move into there. Um, could everybody make a? Uh, so let me rug and let me let me put this in the chat. Could each of you make a basic reflex save? Am I doing that as well? Uh, uh, no, only the people in the same space. So only Rogue. Uh, and... Okay, okay Wait, Rogue. Uh, you're gonna be taking. Uh, you're gonna be taking four damage. Was but I you in have three that? temporary hit points? So no, you were not in that room. I was not. Okay. Three left. Um. Okay. And uh, really good. you also are exposed to filth fever. Could you take a? Could you roll that saving throw, that DC fourteen there? You just click on the saving throw, the DC fourteen one in the chat there. The fortitude part. It. I don't see the DC fourteen fortitude, part, fortitude, so just click sorry. the fortitude part. I think the difficulty is hidden from us. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, you have. You're okay, sick so too. you have filth fever now. Okay. And that does what? Um, you'll roll again next turn to see if you move to the next... I mean, you'll roll again to see if you move to the next stage, but you could become sickened for a day or something. Yay! Okay. We're both sick um, buddies. <laughs> okay. So, and that's the Rat Swarm's turn. It's Croc's turn. Let's start punching. Nice. Seven damage. Okay. Um, and again. Nope. Nope. Not this time. That's okay. But that time. Oh, what was that? Wait. He's he's I've double played. striking. Oh no! No. Oh. Like, oh, no. So flurry blows is one action. And then I. And then did he did it again. Two, oh. Two okay. Penalties. So wait, how much damage did it take? I'm really confused. The. Uh, so seven you... more. Yeah, seven, seven more damage. damage. Okay. Uh, how did you end the rat swarm? <laughs> he punched fourteen different rats. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yep. Yeah. I. I think. Yeah. I'm. Kind of just like punching them, like kicking them, just like clearing, clearing a path to, to the side. Yeah. <laughs> just uh... <laughs> until they all sort of scattered away. They are all unconscious now. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't think that actually works on swarms, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So that makes it. So that was the end of your turn, right? Oh, uh. Yep. Sorry. Okay. So it's now Gog's turn. It's my turn to have an effect. Um, I'm going to unleash Psyche. Come on. Ooh. Two rounds. Yes. I need it to do it. Why isn't it doing it? <laughs> click it. Click it. I have so, been clicking it. Um, so... I begins. click and drag yeah. and it doesn't work. Did okay, it work that time? Click a... oh, oh, it worked that yeah. time. We're good. Whoa. You're so sparkly. Very cool. Two rounds um, remaining. So that lasts for two rounds. Um and so I said I'm or I will be stupefied at the end of the two rounds because I'm using my <laughs> massive brain power. So I'm <laughs> definitely staying behind uh rug and croc. But I am still within range to do an amped telekinetic projectile. Um, am I target on uh, the halfling? And I should be yep. targeted on her now. And that uh, ten, uh, that was um, you that didn't work. Might want to use a hero point. I'll use the hero. You have two of them. Yeah. So just right click on that and. Do the hero point. Oops. I, oh, no. There we go. Okay. Right click. 
Uh, re-roll using hero re-roll point. using hero point. Twenty five. There, there he is. Go. More like it. Okay. Uh, could you roll the damage? Um. Yes. There we go. Ten damage. Ten. Uh, and nice. that has the E as well. Yeah. Nice. Um. Uh. You fling objects. No specific traits or magic properties. Um, on a success, you push the target five feet away from you. On a critical success, you push the target ten feet away. So it was just a normal success, so... Yeah. Uh, so um, five feet. She gets pushed okay. back five feet. Gotcha. Cool. Um, Is there anything else you want to do? That, let's see. Because uh, Unleashed Psyche is a free action. I have that for another turn. Yep. You still have a free action if you want to use I it. Do or still have a normal action? Um, can I do uh, recall the teachings? Um, and yeah. until the start of my next turn, you count as having prepared to aid all, all allies within thirty feet. Yeah, so you can um, use one of your actions in the next turn to do a uh, aid if you want. They absolutely. have to be within thirty feet, which is at least rough. It's and... six squares. Yeah, so I've well, got. Well, they don't move away from you. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm like, real like, counting on you guys forward. not moving too far away from me, because uh, I'm gonna be real stupid at the end of my next turn. <laughs> um, uh, most lessons. Uh, yeah, so you now get a. Happens. You can now do an aid as a reaction rather than as an action. That's really what nice. I. That's what I wanted to make sure. So, um, yeah. So, uh, Ruck. Uh, nope, not Ruck. Croc and Rug. I hate us. Um, I can now. I can. I can help you guys out. Yay! You mind if I move to the next person? Please, absolutely. I have so much open. It's so hard. Okay, so Nemia is going to probably target Croc because Croc just destroyed her swarm. I'm just um, imagining, gonna... like, blurring fists, punching <laughs> small mice out of the air. <laughs> um, so she's actually going to cast Entangle. Um, right, actually, where could she... Oh, she could cast it right on top of there. Actually, she's going to cast it there. Could everyone roll that, uh, oh, that. reflex so check cool. on there? God damn it! Okay, Croc is okay. Gog is I'm okay. Rug and Yulandar are <sighs> now mobilized. Is there any... Is, can my aid work my at this point? What do you mean? Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at... Um, an ally if, using, can use if aid, I can use really aid. To, so so aid just lets you add to an ally's check within 30 feet. Yeah. So if they're doing an attack, you can roll the occultism to give them plus one to that. You know? Yeah. Or a so skill check. If they do a ranged okay. attack from yeah. here, okay. it still works. Yep. <sighs> but a saving throw doesn't count. No, you could use it to help on a saving throw. Um... Um, Yolinda, you still have your hero point if you want to use it. I used the hero point. Did you? Yeah, I did a reroll earlier. Oh. Uh, to hit a snake, I I'm mean, pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, and oh, Andy, you, you have it as well if you want to if you want to try and use it. Yeah, if you do want to reroll it, Andy, you can. You do have a hero point. I guess so. There's no point not to. I just. Do you know how? To... Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Wow! What the fuck? Uh, that was not good. Come on, guys. I... We wanted to finish at 10. We have to at least beat this chick. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh... So, uh, yeah, that's the end of her turn. The wrong brother's getting um... all the good rolls. Yeah, right? So that now makes I'm... it Rogue's turn. Which I mean, I'm a boss and... Would you I like can... to... Would you like to do an imp uh, improvised throwing attack? <laughs> well, I do have javelins. You have javelins? Yes, I do. Throw one. 
give it the yeet. Yeah, just click it, draw it. And then, uh, so first, sheath your maul. I know, it's why I'm, I'm looking for my weapons. Yep, it's the second one in the actions tab there. Okay, so you can click on the sheath and. And then draw. Yep. Good night, MP. Then Thanks for hanging her. out. <laughs> Kill them all. Oh, there's only one left. Yep. And then do a strike plus four. Throw that thing. Give them the uh, you. Hit, hit the strike plus four. Stretch. Thank you. Oh, Son oh, of a miss. bitch. Miss. Wow, it is not your day today, Cookie. No. no is it? Too. Is it worth it to do an aid at this point? No. Okay. Yeah. I can tell you right now it is not. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Why does she aye. have so much armor? What Wait. do I do? Is she also Wait, a monk? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see why. Okay, never mind. Okay, that makes it uh, Yolindar's you turn. Yep. All you right. Oh, <laughs> can I some type of test, but from the sickness. Oh yeah, do you want to make a fortitude check for me? All right. You're also no longer immobilized, Cookie. Right um, and I'll get rid of the uh, I'll get rid of the vines because after this turn, you're good. Go. You're no longer sick. All right. So on my turn, what happens with the sickness? Uh, you can choose to retch if you want to to try and get rid of it. I would like to, because I can't move anywhere, so I might as well. Can I use yeah. my help? Can I use the help on this? Yeah, you can use an aid. <laughs> can, can, That's horrible. Can, uh, Gog, can I... Is, oh, God. Did Didn't I not, work. Okay, alright, I'm on my own! <laughs> uh, can you help I'll me throw up? <laughs> right, I'm still sick. Um... I'm immobilized, so I'm not going anywhere. Sorry. So I'm going to Infectious Enthusiasm for my other two actions. Um, I'm going to give myself a attack boost, and I'm going to give... Uh, you got to drag it yourself, but I'm giving the other one to um, Croc. So you can give yourself a plus one attack boost. Because you're the only one that's hitting anything, really. I'm not, no, I mean, I mean, I hit Gog, Gog's been hitting stuff too, but when he hits stuff, it dies. <laughs> I, no, it doesn't. I no, no, it doesn't. Never mind. I'm just, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Never mind. Yeah. I've I'm sorry. A I'm sorry. The sickness has gone to my head. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Okay. So you're that's... no longer immobilized, and let's move to Croc's turn. Yep. Uh, okay. I'm going to use. Two actions to move. And then I'm going to go punch her in the face. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh. My worst roll of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was big damage. Uh that was only <laughs> damage. <laughs> I rolled a one and a three to my damage there. Oh my gosh. I think we've done the same amount of damage to her. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have. For context. Uh, We're two heavy hitters. How's it going, Double Yellow? Thanks that for stopping in. We're going to be finishing I mean, I up soon, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. Here's a so show. I still have a little bit of brain. Um,. So still have unleashed psyche. I'm going to. Do, 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 Wait, do. Please don't blast her too far away. Okay. If if it's at um, all possible. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can do the telekinetic. Can I do the telekinetic run? Yeah. Um, you could. Also, I think you're out of um. How much focus do I have? Oh no, you still have one focus point left. Yeah, I still have one. Um, so I'll do that amped. Uh, was so she she'll not take a, You don't have to. You don't have to put down the burst. I'll just. Roll How's it going, double yellow? What What uh, is going on? How is life? God damn it! I hope you're doing good. Okay. Well, 
Um, that's it for me. Uh, I'll move my turn and my uh, will my effect just end next turn? Uh, it'll expire next turn. We'll have to figure out what that I'm does. I'm doing all right. We are having some oh, terrible rolling in this, <laughs> I just, but I just uh, that's just how the dice go, you know? Myself or not. Um, well, we'll see. I don't exactly know. Yeah. Some of them do. Some yeah, of them things don't. are things are good okay. for the most part. Thanks. Thanks for um, asking. So she says, "You insipid bird!" As she uh, reaches out to you with a with a lightning spell. A little rude. <laughs> Sick, immobilized, can't throw up, can't attack. I just can't go anywhere. <laughs> so she missed with that, and uh, she's going to try and attack with her sickle then. Um, so sickle? Minus five. Ooh, critical miss. Wow, my, my, my rolls are suddenly uh, turning on me here. <laughs> Did you okay, turn off the that's, hacks? Uh, that's Nemia. <laughs> Yeah, I turned it's off all the hacks. <laughs> it's because the sickle is my weapon, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> that was Veronica's main HEMA weapon, by the way. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, it was. You should have just enough for two full actions to move. In. Yeah. Two two yeah. actions to move and one action to hit. Well, I would have to... The problem is that I right now have my mold... Just... You, so you can, you, you can, out. you can do it. Don't worry about it. I'll just let you. No, that's I'm okay. Gonna... Just drop your javelins. We'll say you did that. That's all, all right. you need to do. Then can always pick them up after the fight. Yeah, but I, I already took care of it for you. Yeah, you don't. don't yeah, to... don't. Oh god. All right, fair. That's fair. What happened here? Everything's yeah, happening. You'll pick them up after the fight. Will he get an attack in? Nope. Oh, come on! <laughs> you are not. You have not rolled above a ten today. Cookie. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's Cookie's turn. You Lindar. Yeah, I can move. All right. So how far is this actually? That's perfect. Right there. Space bar to move. Yep. Click. Uh, All right. You know what? Fuck it. So, so we did it. I, I think the issue is that you're trying to move directly th through the wagon. Oh, then with it, that, that, so I don't know. I just pulled myself, so I would have thought it would have stopped me then, too. Anyways, uh, she's flat-footed, and I'm going to spell strike, because I can. Um, okay. Which is a regular strike with a spell added on to it. Uh, Strike! Please hit. <laughs> uh, the worst part is the the spell misses too because it's part of the same thing. So I just yep. uh, yeah, all right. Okay, right, we're good. I'm done. It's my turn. Let me go hit Crocs the enter turn. button. Uh, punch. Punch. Damn. Uh, five damage. Five damage. Okay. Every time I see that non-lethal tag on your, <laughs> your I like I hate it so much. I see it and I'm just like, ah. Oh. Uh, and that was also a miss. That was a miss, and my other one, even worse. Oof. Dun dun. An actual one. <laughs> An actual one. Um, does she do anything? Guys, yeah, if we rolled like halfway decent, she'd be dead by now. <laughs> that makes it Gog's know. turn. And that is true. <laughs> <laughs> Can uh, Gog. We're just dragging this fight out. Still with us there, Nopi? 
I was eating crackers, oh, so okay. I had my microphone Sorry. muted, and then I forgot to unmute it. Yeah. Um, it looks like my Unleashed Psyche is still up. Um, it's oh, yeah, not we need supposed to get to be. rid of that. Um, and I should instead be. Oh wait, no! It says it's one more. It lasts for two oh. full rounds, so you still have it one more turn. Oh yeah, shit! Yeah, will not go quietly into the night. No, they're freaking loud and annoying, and I'm trying to murder them. <laughs> um, am I still close enough to do just a normal? Am I still within sixty feet? Yeah, you're in sixty so. feet. Cool. Yep. Um. Then I will telekinetic rend. Am I targeted on her? Uh, you might want to do a projectile because you'll hit your friends with a rend. Ah, oh, beans. Uh, with how we're rolling, she's not going to hit any of us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. So that hits. Can suck you roll it. damage? 12 uh, damage. Max damage there. Good roll. Wow. Oh. Damn. I should not be okay. the heavy hitter here, guys. Me and okay, Rug can't hit at all, so it's all good. Um. Okay, so that is the last turn with the Unleashed Psyche. I'm not within 30 feet, and I don't really want to get closer because I'm about to get stupid. Um, <laughs> I'm real worried about being stupid, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move to her turn then. Yeah, I I just want to. I was double checking my my options, but it's definitely it's definitely her turn. Okay, what else does she want to do here? That's not helpful. I guess she could entangle you guys and run away. Please no. <laughs> no, I think she's gonna shocking grasp again. So she's gonna try and shocking grasp uh, Croc here. The only one that's actually a threat of the oh. three of us here. No, it's, it's... Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, and then she missed no. it. Uh, that makes it Rug's turn. Rug, hit her. It's really like, like anime where like she's just running to punch and I'm just like. <laughs> it's so good. Just after images of a bird everywhere. Like... <laughs> 19! We, we finally got, got a hit! Damage for us, Cookie. 13 damage! Cookie, tell us how you kill this halfling. Oh. I'm very, 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 very pissed off work right now. I come up this halfling, take my hammer and go, go! Out of way! Slam really hard down on the ground and they see what happens to her then. Well, good job, guys. Um... <laughs> I think I was the MVP of that match. Uh, just saying, Definitely. you know, really pulled my weight. Really feel good about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. And there we go. And that is the end uh, of chapter one of Extinction Curse. Beautiful. That felt uh, bad. That, <laughs> that felt like we should have ended an hour ago. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm looking at the roll the hit. This is a 1d12 blundering weapon. I get plus 4 because of my strength and plus 6 because I'm raging. Yeah, you rolled a 3 and got a plus 10. <laughs> I got, yeah. Well, listen, don't question the math. Oh my goodness. Uh, was I can only do so much with fists. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. I'm sorry. Listen, Croc is just fisting away over there. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just calculating out the uh, XP real quick. So. Yeah, I know. I know you have to uh, finish up there, Night Ethereum. So uh, I will close out the stream and raid, and I'll be right back. Okay. Cool. Bye, everybody. Thanks, uh, everyone. Yep. Bye, guys. All right, I will deafen up one second. Uh, turn that off. Uh, we'll deafen that. We'll switch to that. That is the wrong camera. Yep. Oh, you Oh, it's so rough. <laughs> Wrong button. That one. Uh, integrate camera to USB live camera. Did it work? Hey! All right. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the adventure. Um, I may not have done well, but it was fun nonetheless. Um, we're going to find someone to raid. 
Our next stream is going to be on Friday. We'll be streaming with Tank Girl 90 playing Old World Blues mod of Hearts of Iron 4. And then on Saturday, we'll be back in Final Fantasy 15. Uh, let us see who is... I feel like, oh God, there's a lot of people streaming right now. Who do we want to raid? Who do we want to raid? Who do we want to raid? Do we want to raid Sniper? Sniper is a great one to raid. Um, double check and have a great night, Jabber. Thank you so much, Double Yellow. Uh, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for hanging out. Let us, I think, I think we'll raid Sniper. We don't get to raid Sniper very often. Playing Dead by Daylight slash raid Sniper Heart Wolf. Um, Sniper Heart doesn't play with a mic, but she is still an amazing streamer. She will answer you in the chat. Um, talk to her. Have fun. She's adorable. She's sweet. And she's very active in, in my community. Um, so she deserves a lot of love. Um, show her some love, and I'll catch you guys next time. Farewell for now.